Topic number one, daddy issues. All right, let's get into it. Um, I did actually have uh, an idea for how, like, we could have a, 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 an opening that wasn't as as shitty as the first one. Where we, I mean, it, it was more it was more natural in the first one, right? Sure, but, sure. So, you know how like podcasts generally? I, I had to stop touching my mic. Huge thing that bothered the shit out of me in the first episode. I just kept touching it. So. You know how in the first episode we um what was I gonna say? I don't fucking <laughs> know. I have not talked to you since the first episode. Did you know it's been like a incidentally, month? Incidentally, that's the first time you talked. <laughs> also, yeah, it could have been the last one. Um yeah. okay. Okay. But we had you always know, had weird online interactions, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we we talked about doing things for like four years. Um so you know how other podcasts they have like a uh like an opening like meme where they're like uh I, I can't they think of an example. They're like, um for when well we when we were doing CAG dude, we had cat chat room. We'd say, Welcome to Cat Chat Room, where we talk about cats. And then my my buddy Mike would say, Do we really though? That was the whole bit, the opening bit. I was thinking of like Welcome to Wait, wait, don't tell me. This is I, I, I Ezra Klein or whatever the fuck. What are you talking about? MPR? I have no idea. NPR? Though? NPR? Are you 40? What's <laughs> going on? Oh, Look at NPR. Out my drink. <laughs> so what the fuck are you on about? Uh, I don't know. NPR is reputable. People listen to NPR. I like their Tiny Desk concerts. Oh, the Tiny Desk concerts are The really Tiny good. Desk concerts are cool, but that's just because I like music. I understand why NPR is a good thing, and he is gone. Now that it's just you and me, though, we can talk about whatever. So now that the the uninformed Appleist is gone. I can talk about how I tried new and exciting apples since the last time <laughs> that he's back. And he's going to be so upset to hear about me to be that we've already started talking about apples. <laughs> yeah, started talking about apples. I just I want to put on a better shirt. That shirt was like a like showing my fat fucking ask. COVID tummy. Oh, you got a cow chop shirt. Did yeah. you um is is this genuine? We were talking. Is this genuinely started yet? Is this just rolling naturally? Yeah, sure. Okay, dude. I mean, it, it it comes off natural, doesn't it? I mean, I feel like that's all that matters. It did until I broke that barrier and asked what the <laughs> fuck that we were doing. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. No. I. I was just. I was thinking. Like. I mean, we've only had one episode, so we don't really. You know, you kind of kind of find your footing before you make an intro. But like, what would be? You know, it's it's called regurgitated, right? We got the name. That's good. And that's a good start. Can we get a maybe round of applause, we, for like a pretty flawless launch too. Can yeah, we get dude. like a let's go apps and chat for let's maybe go. we get all just like a, a vomit like in the beginning, like just, just, we'll just like make ourselves we'll leave like, that up to you. We'll leave that up to you to do Mr. <laughs> Handsy in your mouth. And, uh, what is the shit? Well, that's that, how we'll start every episode: is watching you force yourself <laughs> to vomit. What Trigger is, warning for bulimics at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> right. What is the shit? My shit's fucked up. What is the shit that um? You take, and then it makes you vomit. No matter. Epicac? Epicac. Epicac. Yeah, we got to. We all, well, I'm just gonna take a shot at Epicac right at the beginning, and then just. I actually fucking don't puke. know what that is. Just, I think it's actually been. I don't think they use it anymore because it's actually po- the reason it works. Is legitimately it's bad for you. It's like well, actual poison, and your body's just like get that out. And it's like it's, there's, there's so much shit that we do that your body just naturally rejects. Yeah, yeah, even stuff that's like meant for you, like genuine medical practice. A lot of times, your body just goes like, "Fuck this." Dude, yeah, like if you get if you get some kind of implant, your body can just be like, "This is a foreign object, kill it," yeah, and then you get die. out of it. Yeah. Well, that's that's all allergies are: is your body just going, "This thing does not belong in my body." Get it out. It's just detecting like peanut butter yeah. as ricin or some shit. Dude, I, you know what goes with peanut butter? Apples. Yes, I yes. wanted the Welcome silence to, to last cast. so much longer. <laughs> I was hoping the silence would last like ten <laughs> seconds longer. I tried new apples. <laughs> God damn it! Did you? I tr- Yeah, no. So I found this farmers market kind of near where I live, which I could talk about for an hour just because I get nerdy about produce. But uh, they had like a whole apple section that I hadn't seen before. I tried an opal apple. I didn't have an opal apple. I didn't. I had Jesus fucking that is a, Christ. That is a tongue I hadn't had an opal, opal apple, apple before, yeah. uh, but I had one. But I tried a new apple. Call a cosmic crisp apple. Have you ever heard of a cosmic crisp I apple? Have. That I sounds like it's this dude. Own it's 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 this dude in Washington that took a honey crisp and mixed it with something else. Now he's trying to get this new apple in stores. Yeah, I tried it. It's pretty pretty good. I don't know. Is it crunch or is it like 
it's a, a crunchy it's, it's a, a crunchy, crunchy one based okay I, I honestly <laughs> honestly if you can if you hit me with a crunchy apple i'll like it like nine out sure. of ten times you know what i mean for sure more yeah. fruits need to be crunchy yeah definitely that's true go ahead you I, de- bought a water- <laughs> I bought a watermelon get this get this I love so who the fuck is <laughs> just, <laughs> let's go around our new produce and buy <laughs> yeah, he's point. like he came in with a genuine like let's start this episode <laughs> and then we got guitars fruit already, bro. I'm buying an apple yeah. this dude yeah. bought a fucking kumquat or whatever I don't even fucking know what, what, what happened to your watermelon what happened to your watermelon uh, I, I shouldn't say but I, it's a good watermelon did you fuck the watermelon? What happened to your yeah, watermelon? Yeah, what happened to the watermelon, dude? Well, I feel, okay, so it's definitely not as bad as if I said... So Haley has sensitive teeth, and I cut off this watermelon, but I put it in the fridge. I don't have sensitive teeth. I was just eating this watermelon, and the watermelon was too cold for Haley, like it was hurting her teeth, so she microwaved it, and I thought that was very funny. Why didn't you bring that up? I've never heard of anyone microwaving watermelon in my life. Yeah, that's kind of insane. I used to microwave ice cream. That no, you guys don't look at me. I, you guys are looking at me funny. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I know. Actually, 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 I, my brain is not functioning. I just got back from being a degenerate for a week straight. I also have microwaved ice cream. Oh yeah, not have, like yeah. for the not like for the purpose of like making it soupy. Like you pull it out of the depths of the freezer, and it's like a brick. And you, yeah. you're too you're too impatient to to wait twenty minutes to scoop it, so you microwave it for like five yeah. seconds. Yeah, I, I used to yeah. do the thing. I used to um, so after I was done with my microwaving phase, where I just had like a little little you soup a at the bottom. Phase. Oh yeah, microwaving phase. I, I didn't I tell your mom been... it was just a phrase. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, or a yeah. phase. Was, Fuck, it was just a I phrase. Talk. Simply I, a phrase. I learned what a fucking three two one cake was at Ben's house. I don't even know what that, that is. Was... Yes, you do. You taught me it. Dude. Fuck. The, what is a three, two, one cake? I don't. I don't remember. It's like three cups of uh, cake batter, two cups of sugar. Do you remember? It was like a mug cake. It was like your mom made. A, it was yes. in high school. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, in yeah, high yeah, school. Yeah. Your mom was like, "This is a yeah. three, two, one cake," and I was like, "I, I don't want to eat that." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wanna, you just put my, a lot of sugar in a cup. <laughs> my mother has a lot of like interesting food design choices. I don't know if that's how you would say it, but it, it it's it is. <laughs> extremely uh she'll she'll just like be like hey what how does this sound and i'll be like honestly not that great to, to be completely and she'll honest, do it anyways. That, and she'll just make it anyways and, and it'll actually normally normally be all yeah. right for white people food you know like you know she's made she's made good bread and she's made yeah. good comments i've made i've made cookies at ben's house and she'll yeah. like offer suggestions to make them better cookies are banger white people food not to say that other cultures don't make cookies at all but like out of all the food white people can make, cookies are like one where it's like they usually they usually hit. Yeah, yeah we got them. I agree. It's kind of hard to fuck up a cookie because even like a bad cookie is like, oh, well, fuck, I'll eat this. Yeah, 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 exactly right. I mean, I, I don't. Have I ever had a bad cookie? Um, I've had cookies. Yeah. I you remember when your mom? Love. You remember when your mom? I made um, the candy cane cookies at your house. The peppermint. Oh yeah, they weren't cake. bad. And I mean, they were they were a little chalky, but budget. they weren't bad. No, but your mom suggested putting the the hot cinnamon gels yeah, on yeah, them yeah and yeah. it was just it yeah. was like the very spicy cinnamon yeah, it was gel just it was very different textures on a, pepper, too. on a peppermint cookie and i was just like ah, that, yeah it sounds like it would be good but then you bite into it and you're like this is fucking yeah, terrible yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't incredible um i mean I, honestly i thought the cookies themselves were fine but the, but the, mm. that was just a weird mm. suggestion i don't know what she's fucking ever on about fun fact and i just noticed it now because i'm looking at myself my um camera last episode was inverted and it bothered the shit out of me after i rendered it uploaded it watched how it did like, that accidentally happen because uh it mirrors you know discord mirrors the the the, the, the webcam am, so am i no you're straight yeah. and it's on straight i'm the one i'm the one mirrored you don't know that <laughs> i was hoping i was hoping i was gonna get it um <laughs> Um, I, I'm going to dude. if I, if I, if I touch my microphone, just start just like screaming at the bot, like the top of your lungs. I need to just oh, fucking yeah. chill the fuck out. I every, last episode, I, I, when I was editing it, I had to just take, I tried my best to take like little portions of the, of the audio track and just m- make them much quieter. Cause it was just like, you know what I mean? It was awful. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> make um, your job harder. Why don't you? Yeah. Um, 
What were we saying? Apples? And you were the one that came <laughs> in with like, I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. I, okay. I so had a dream. Epicac. Great meme. Mm-hmm. Just a shot, you know, tink. Boom. And just, we just fucking start puking up a storm. And then we just you know, go I, from there. I had that when I was a kid. Epicac? Yeah. I, I didn't, I, I honestly, I saw, I think it was a, a, uh, what are those fucking movies called? The ones with the boobs? Porn? Not. <laughs> <laughs> you had one no, of those no, as a kid? No. What the fuck are they called? The movies with, with it's like a bunch of college students where they like drink horse cum. Uh, the porn. I don't like <laughs> porn. <laughs> oh no, no, it's not oh, just porn. You're talking about you're talking about like the series. Like yeah, uh, what is the fuck is it called? American Pie and American stuff like Pie. That? American Pie. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. American okay. Pie. Why did I why did I bring up I've American Pie? I only watched pie? one American Pie movie, so. Why did I just bring up American Pie? I don't. You're the one talking about you, horse cum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was talking about horse cum and boobs. Epicac. The only reason I knew about Epicac because I'm pretty sure it was in a, it was in an American. It was Pie in movie. a Family Guy episode too, so you might have seen that. Uh, dude, Family Guy is funny. You know that was trending on Twitter today. Family Guy is funny. Kind of blown away I by saw that. that. Yeah, I was kind of blown away. Family by Guy that. is funny, dude. Honestly, Family Guy is very funny. Not Family Guy the show, but the yeah, concept. Yes, of Family exactly. Guy I agree. Is very funny. Yeah. The The Simpsons. Simpsons as a concept is less funny than Family Guy. I, I do agree. Um, so I don't trust the Twitter trending page because it says trending for you and none of the shit I give a fuck about. Mm-hmm. Literally none mm-hmm. of it. Like, yeah, they're trying to get you to believe stuff. <laughs> at this point, you're probably right. Uh, there's so um, you're saying that Twitter is a disinformation machine. I, I are you about to go join Donald Trump's like Truth I, app or whatever the fuck? He's I do, calling I'm going to go. What is, it, is it called Truth? Is it called Truth? I have no fuck. It's not on Android, so I couldn't even use it if I wanted to. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, is it really just not on Android? That's funny. Let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, I don't oh, know. Let's see. I briefly, I briefly saw he. I saw on Twitter that he had posted some meme of himself dressed up like a Lord of the Rings character or some shit, and I was like, I want to see that. And I tried looking for it, but it was like, oh, only available on like iOS at the moment. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna go out of that's my way. That's weird. That it's. I don't know if that's easier to do or not. I'm, uh, I don't know. I assume they probably looked at however many users were on Android versus iOS and figured it would be maybe worth more of the investment to just go on I- iOS. What is the app called? You said Truth, I, but I, I'm not fine. I look up Truth Social. I, I, I mean, Trump, am I going to be like... I got Truck fucking, News 2024. I'm recording this. I want, <laughs> I want, if, if I can find it, I want to put it in here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, only available on like iOS. Trump Social App. I thought it was called Truth. I got well. I have, I have True Social by Vero Labs. I think, I, I think that is it. I think it is Truth Social. No, it's True Social. No, Truth, Truth, Truth Social. What? Truth Social. Former President Trump's social media app. I don't know what this is. There's Trump News 2024 by Hit Maybe GPX Media. Are you on the App Store? It probably got taken down. Here, no, I got it right here. I'll fucking Dude. Uh, find it for you. Here, I'll, I will send this to you in the in the Discord chat, um, or not Discord chat. This is actually real, really done in person. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, we're all in the same room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! I'm yeah, opening look, it up um, on the, look, on the it's, uh, Never mind the video hand. feed. Yeah. yeah, look, it's in my, my head is touching Ben's head. <laughs> it's it's coming out. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow! Look at that. What are you That's doing? So- You're giving me a wet willy. What the oh, heck? Shit, stop it! Oh, yeah. so- <laughs> um, I tried to record that. I thought it would be cool if I could add like a, a screen recording into the like as an editorial thing, but I couldn't get it. So that could be a funny bit idea. Just to yeah. scroll through the. Truth oh, that's what I was thinking. To, yeah, but I, I feel like it also just kind of be sad. <laughs> <laughs> it just it gets it gets this removed from yeah. uh, like three different streaming platforms yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Um, I feel like we're on like a tangential like spiral. Okay, so Epicac, why why did you want that to be the intro? <laughs> yeah, um, that's how we opened this conversation. He definitely so, came in here and he was like, "Guys, I got a bright idea. Just what we're gonna do is we're gonna all throw up." That was definitely not something that I suggested as a response <laughs> to a cold open. This is Ben came in and said, "Guys, I think I'm gonna get all of you to throw up." And completely serious. Hey, when is the last time you threw up, Jack? Um, I don't know. Probably like a month ago, a month or something. Ago. Probably something related to alcohol. 
Sean. Like a month or two ago, maybe. I dry heaved like a year ago, but that nothing came out. Nothing. I've not let go of anything in years. Dude, fucking Theodore looks so cute right now, bro. You see that cat? Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. shit, bro. That is a fucking does, cute ass cat. He does this all the time. I was just trying he to. Falls, he falls off sometimes, which is even cuter. I was. That sounds sad. I was. I was just trying to distract you because I was picking my nose. Um, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you want to hear a funny. The last time I puked. Actually, awful story. So uh, Alexis and I had started dating. Uh, uh, um, was it? What's the third month? March. Uh, in March of 2018, and in December of 2018, um, I got extremely ill. Where uh, it was on her birthday, <laughs> um, <laughs> I started vomiting horribly and having really bad diarrhea. And I was sitting on the on the toilets for so long that my legs would get. Um, like fall asleep, no. you know, just hurt. Yeah, I love yeah, that. By the way, that's the best yeah. feeling in the world is to get up after having and both you of your legs it. go numb and walking around. Right, you you just have to like grab onto the. He's trying to he's trying to bite me because I'm in his space. You just have to like grab onto the wall and like wait for your legs, or you're gonna fall out. Oh no no! It would be, it would have been nice. It would have been a nice thing if I wasn't. I didn't. Uh, I was getting uh, diarrhea on the floor. <laughs> so i i on a, like my, my my girlfriend's birthday i'm i'm vomiting loudly i because i don't ever vomit i i had probably mm-hmm. hadn't vomited like f- five years prior to that yeah, yeah so i'm vomiting very loudly dry heaving and a lot of pain shit getting my shit on the floor and i'm like i'm just gonna hop in the shower and hope that this all boils over i shower I get out. I'm like, I have to clean this up. Don't go in there. My my Alexis cleans the entire floor. Up oh, shit. And I was a like, round of applause again, please, everyone. <laughs> right. No, it was. I was like, fuck yes. That that. First of all, I don't have to clean it. That's awesome. Second of all, that's a great story to tell. Right. Like that's an awesome yeah. story to tell. She loves telling that story. She loves telling the story of her cleaning my shit on my on her birthday. A bit more detail as to getting on hand and knee to clean up after <laughs> yeah, you scrubbing the shit. floor. I uh, whenever she tells that story, it's it's like it, she she's from New Jersey, so she has like the kind of like the funny accent. She can tell used stories. To up shit. Yeah, yeah. She's like she speaks true. like a cartoon character. Yeah, I get it. So especially when she's like water. being performative. Water. Yeah, water. Water. Yeah, she says water instead of water. Water. So when she's being very performative, her accent comes out more like when she's like telling a story to a bunch of people. And it's so fucking funny when she tells that story. And uh, and I, I mean, she'll any time that I have a poop, poopy problem since then, she, she will use that to to tell a good story. And I'm 100 percent OK with that. I think that's fucking hilarious. You do strike me as the type of person that would be OK with that. Yeah, I am. Um, I- I, I, I personally, I don't have too many of those stories, but I, I did have a scenario where <laughs> Sean just laughed to himself. <laughs> no, oh, he have... knows he has a ton of them. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't have too many stories of women cleaning up my own diarrhea. <laughs> no, but that's I did, thing. That's, that's did good. have a scenario last year where I, I did end up on the floor of a public restroom diarrheaing everywhere while there was an alarm going off. Oh, great. So, that's that's um, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the context with it will make sense because I was in the hospital. Uh, so I was I was hospitalized for three days um, and they didn't quite know what I had. This is like last year. They didn't quite know what I had at first. It's a whole whole story. I ended up having. No, no, I ended up having appendicitis, but it was crazy because I had it for like six months and like that was like not like normal. Yeah, yeah. And so they thought I had like Crohn's disease mm. or whatever. And they ended up like um my intestines ended up like calcifying together. So they didn't just remove my appendix. They removed like a part of my intestines too. Cause I like Jesus. I waited so long with appendicitis for it to like fuck up my insides to yeah. where it like severely fucked up my you insides. Say cal- what, what does calcify mean? That means they'd mold so, it together. So how my doctor described it to me was that when they open you up it's, I swear to God, a medical professional said this to me. This is going to sound like I'm being silly again. Is when they open you up, your guts should look like a bowl of wet spaghetti, right? That like you can like maneuver everything around and, you know, uh, I don't know. I assume slurp it in a fun yeah, manner and, just get and a then fucking, end up kissing yeah. another doctor yeah. at the end of the other end of the <laughs> intestines. Um, 
<laughs> but he said when he opened me up, it looked like a bowl of spaghetti that had been left out all night. It was all dried and like clumped together. And he described to me as they were trying to remove the appendix. I mean, I have the text message that my mom forwarded to me of them, like literally like chiseling my intestines. Apart. Yeah, that um, yeah. Like that's again, I'm not a medical professional. I can't explain to you the minor details of what happened, but like, you know, they, they did like, um, um, the cat scan on me at first and they were like, I don't know. It looks fine. And so, you know, I've been experiencing this pain for like six months. Cat skin looked fine. I thought I had Crohn's disease. They were doing less blood work. But it's important to say because they had left me without food or water for three days straight. No food, no water, just IV drip. And they were constantly giving me laxatives throughout this experience, too. So, like, every day they would come by. You're going to be cleaned out, bro. Well, so get a, get a load of this. So, uh, li- literally. So, they, they come <laughs> by every day and they give me, like, a glass of water. It's the only, like, liquid I get in my diet. The entire day is like one like airplane size thing of water and like two or three laxative pills. Other than that, it's just all they were just fucking with you the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) It's really funny. At one point, they wanted to go out and they just put me in an office chair and started spinning me around and chanting things. Um, No, but they put me in for an MRI. But when you get an MRI for like any kind of like gastrointestinal issues, it's they can't just give you an MRI. They need to coat your intestines with something okay. reactive. So yeah. when they run the MRI, it reflects and they can see exactly what's going on inside of you. And the compound, like they literally just orally drink it. And it was a metallic sludge that yeah. was like the size of like a Sprite bottle. And they had me drink two of them. So again, keep in mind, I'm on no food, no water, two days straight. I had yet to use the bathroom and they keep pumping me full of laxatives. I drink again, you know, I would imagine this is like probably around 40 ounces of this like sludge material to coat my mm. stomach to get an MRI. Um, I go in, I do the MRI. That part goes fine. They start wheeling me back to my room and I explain to them, guys, I really, really need to use the bathroom. And they were like, well, we can't just bring you to the bathroom. It's protocol. We need to go back and check you into your room. So like, you know, like that, that's just the procedure. There's a standard line of yeah. things. They can't just, they, they can't, it's fucking, it's fucking government. Am I right? They can't just take me to yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, I got to yeah. check into the room first. Um, so I, I'm arguing with them. They're not listening to me. They bring me back to my room. Another thing I didn't account for is when you're in the hospital and they have you hooked up to the IV machines, they're on like a battery that gets recharged by the wall and you can unplug them from the wall, but they're on like a timer. They only last like an hour, like off of the the, the wall. Um, Otherwise, they start doing this insane, like screaming alarm sound and flashes red at you. Um, Because, you know, if someone passes out or they're wandering the hallways or something with it, they they need to, to know. And so what I didn't account for is the nurse had neglected to plug back in my IV machine while I was getting my MRI. And so they check me into my room. I'm like, you can see my ass hanging out the back of the fucking hospital again. I I immediately grab the IV machine and I'm like covering up my backside, running down to the fucking uh, bathroom towards the end of the hall. I could barely hold it. I shut the door and it just fucking like comes out immediately. It's, it's really like not, it, 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 it's, it's a horrible story. It's just gross, but like, it's really not my fault. It's these fucking stupid yeah. ass doctors refusing to take me to the bathroom. That's so and then, weird. Cause that's like, some- like I just, I hadn't been standing for three days either. So I just kind of, I was weak and I kind of like just collapsed to the ground a little bit. And then the alarm went off because it hadn't been plugged into the wall and it was flashing red and screaming. And I had people like banging on the wall being like, are you okay? We need to get in there. And I was like, please do not come in here. I was like, please give me an extra like 10 to 20 minutes to like figure out my life. Was it was the was it stinky poopy? <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It was very very liquid liquid shit. Yeah, so it probably didn't it, it, you know probably wasn't that gross, right? I mean, it's gross because it's 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 dookie, but you know it's um out, you out know, of all like, the grossest dookies, it's probably not that you know. I like, yeah, it's, it's water, very watery. Yeah. Ben's like, oh, diarrhea. That's the least gross one. Uh, consequentially, or like relatively, it's also the one I don't have to clean up. <laughs> right. That's true. Also true. Did that article about Kim Kardashian saying she would eat shit daily <laughs> if it may mean she could lose weight? Was that recent? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was like last week. She came out, a big article came out with Kim Kardashian. I just love the way it's phrased, too. It's like, 
Kim Kardashian says she would eat poop daily. Like, like it's not like she was just saying, oh, I'd eat shit to be prettier. She said, I would eat it daily. Like, <laughs> like it's a menu item in order to get thinner, which I find well, very funny. It is. You would get very thin very quickly. Yeah. And then you would die. Yeah, you probably, yeah, you'd like, just pass away. Did you see the, I mean, it's a meme. I don't, I, it's probably altered as well, but there's a, just like a meme of, of, a, of a, a paparazzi person going up to Kanye and being like, yo, Kanye, you, she did, Kimberly, oh, yeah. did you put it in her ass or something like that? <laughs> Hey, Kanye, did she put her fingers up your booty? I'm no! <laughs> like dumb. I always love the Kanye uh, video with him and the paparazzi where it's like two, to, it's like 3 to 4 a.m. in his yeah, house. Yeah. And he's trying to get in his car and the paparazzi's like, good morning, Kanye. He's like, fuck you. Good yeah. morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, like, yeah. And everyone, every, everyone's like hating Kanye for it. But honestly, if it was 3 or 4 a.m. and I had some fucking jack wagon outside my house yeah, yelling yeah. at me, I don't care yeah, if he's trying yeah. to be nice. You're oh, fucking... God harassing me while i'm i don't even i don't even it doesn't even matter what you're doing get the fuck away from my house dude after episode two of regurgitated goes up that's gonna be us isn't that fucking crazy <laughs> they're gonna listen to the apple talk and immediately listening to diarrhea right. stories and, oh. and, and flock i need to ask i need to ask maybe i'm dumb right maybe i'm stupid as shit I, is itunes just not what anything's called anymore is it I apple music and apple it. podcasts Am I just no, well, no, Apple iTunes doesn't really exist. The only reason why iTunes exists anymore is for people that like have already paid for iTunes in the past, like so they can't just remove it from them. You either have an Apple Music subscription or that's linked to like Apple Podcasts. Tell that to Google because they took away Google Play, said they moved all my music to YouTube Music, but then when I go to YouTube Music, I can't listen to the downloaded music like Kansas yeah, album that yeah. I have on my phone. I I couldn't tell you about Google. Yeah, I I I did not know this. I was watching. I don't remember what I was watching, but they were like, they were like, um. You know, I, I might be old. I still call it iTunes. I'm like, is that is that? A I don't think, thing? I don't think people get upset with yeah. you if you say iTunes. I think most people well, we understand what you mean. Yeah, we are old. We're like thirty, dude. Did you know Sean? Okay, Sean looked like he was like eight years old until he was what, like night seventeen, eighteen, nineteen? Eight until I looked thirty. That was <laughs> yeah, the yeah, exactly. Oh my god, damn it! <laughs> it he, so Sean is what, like two or three months I'm older than I am. I'm twenty seven. November? You're not 27. You're fucking lying ass bitch. I turned 27 this year in November. Yeah, yeah. You like lying six, ass bitch. Like you're 26. From that. 26, oh, bitch. <laughs> it's the same thing. Um, no, yeah. yeah. We're old. Zach, please just... I, I, I know we're not that much older than you, but... You're really not. En- you're really not that further enjoy away Enjoy it me. while you're... Well, you got it, bro. I'll tell you what. <laughs> 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 um, oh, do you see? I can't even get already my already falling apart, dude. I just spent that week... Um, oh please! I wanted to ask my, you with my friends out here, and then yeah. out in Vegas, and I'm already like, I, I've just been I've, that that Cretan thing I talked about yeah. last time I was speaking to you is absolutely true. I'm 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 just gross. I've been doing nothing but eating shit and drinking like yeah. 17 beers yeah. a day. Like, <laughs> like so, I, I'm not I'm not I'm going to live my I'm living my best life, but also not living my best life at the same time. Give me the timeline of what I I, I want to hear about Vegas, if it, unless there's stories that you don't want to tell, but like the. We Give me the timeline him. of how everything happened, the the blow and the hookers and the Yeah, addiction. so I met my Coke dealer um like <laughs> three AM before uh, my friend's flight got here. Um I would like to continue that bit, but my brain's blanking out. Yeah, it's all good, um, dude. It really wasn't like too too crazy or debaucherous. I mean, you know, my friends came out here, I showed them or I met them, I like introduced them to some of my friends out here that hadn't been here before. Went out drinking, hang, hung out in the fucking pool in my parents' house for a bit. Drove up to Vegas, took this girl that I'm seeing with me. We went to we went to like a bunch of concerts. Just, I drank a lot, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Like low sleep, just drinking, walking around Vegas, walking around downtown Phoenix, going to concerts. They all left, and then I took a, I took her I took that girl to a Steely Dan concert to oh, see the dude. the one and only Donald Fagan right afterwards. Ryan. Brian, Very cool. Brian fucking <laughs> loves Steely Dan. I at least he loved I love Steely, Steely Dan. He only listened Steely to Steely Dan, Dan in great. the car. He only listened Steely to Steely Dan, Dan in the car. It's That's so good, good car music. Yeah. That's good yeah. road music. Yeah. Well, the other two musicians I went, I saw a fucking uh, Jack White in Phoenix, and then I saw uh, Silk Sonic in Vegas, and then um, Steely Dan a day after that. So, so you were I there went for a, a bender. You were there for 
I think it, I, I, we had talked about this. My, I, you'll notice, yeah, was, Zach, my memory is awful. I know we talked about this, and I don't remember what for we sure. talked well, about. You were in New York, too. You were in New York City, too, apparently, which you have some strong opinions on, which we I can fucking get, to at, a, get yeah. to at a moment. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, so, like, my first friend got here, like, Thursday night, and then... You know, my second friend, Ethan, who, uh, you know, if you've if you're one of the two people that have ever watched anything I did before, you know who that is. I'm one of them. Um, I'm one of the two. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or if you're if you're if you're a subscriber of the great Isaiah on YouTube and you watch Halo Putt Buddies, you also right. know. Who, yes. You also yes. know who Ethan is. Yeah. Um, he Ethan came Clyde, out here. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the guy. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the that guy. Yeah. 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 That guy. Okay. Um, uh, he came out here on Friday. And so again, it was just like, Hey, go out. Like I, I know some friends of friends that kind of run like a, like a, a restaurant. And we went there and got some drinks and went out downtown and mm. hung out here. Again, like, I was here for like for four Friday, but like I had people in town and then we just woke up the next day and, um, drove to Vegas. So that's yeah. sick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, which, go ahead. No, I was going to say Vegas is a long drive, but it's also not. It's like, it, it it could be anywhere between five to seven hours of a drive, depending on how much traffic there is. So it's like quite the commitment, but also very draining at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I So <laughs> with that said, it takes about two hours to get to New York, which you so you like Vegas is, uh, would be your conclusion. I do you like Vegas? I, yeah. I probably go there at least once a year these days. Um, I might go again later this year because I have a bunch of rewards points I didn't use for this trip, and that's kind of an excuse to get my ass yeah. back yeah. up the, there. For what, some one of the things that I want to see at Vegas just to just jump in is some uh, fat titties, dude. Let's fucking <laughs> well, go. you can order like 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 prostitution is legal there. They're no, I was gonna there. say I was gonna say Penn and Teller. <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> <kind of> like <laughs> advertise. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to advertise hookers, bro. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Can we get sponsored by like by a hookers? brothel in Vegas, please? Oh, yeah, I, I would, I would love that. Be like, they got the best whores. They got <laughs> big booty Latinas. They got like uh, skinny ass white yeah. bitches. Like, yeah. what, what are you yeah. into? We're going to get Bad Dragon in here. I have a shirt from Bad Dragon. You do? What, what is Bad Dragon? Oh. Oh, please, Sean, please talk about Bad Dragon. <laughs> Bad Dragon is a furry, scaly sex toy uh, operation. Oh, online. I do know. Ba- okay, never mind. I actually, I do. I do know about Bad Dragon. <laughs> I do not. I do not own one, but I, I do I, I don't, know I don't own one. Of, <laughs> of the Bad Dragon brand. Yeah. I've seen some videos of some. Uh, you know how the Grinch's heart grew three times its size yeah. that day? I've seen some other parts of people grow three times its size. Uh, I, I used to follow their Twitter. And uh, actually, so I have I have a variety pack that they did. I think it was for charity. It might not have been for charity. But it was a variety pack of miniature versions of their most popular dildos. And I have a glow-in-the-dark. I have a glow-in-the-dark Good chance to stallion. Uh, no, they're all back at my parents' house. <laughs> so, 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 you know what's so funny is that they don't. Mom, look did like, you move my bad dragon <laughs> last time I was home? They, they don't look like dildos, except for the horse cock. Yeah. The other Wait, ones of are like based off of fake. I love the idea of someone listening to this has no clue what the fuck <laughs> we're talking about. It's like, what are they talking about? And they hear, no, 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 it's not the horse cock, but it's uh, <laughs> something. Uh, yeah. But, but be- because it's so small, it's not as dense. They couldn't make it as dense for the injection molding. So it's very rubbery, uh, all of them. And one of the things that I just got used to is I would just pick one up and just like roll it around my hand. Because uh, it's just, it's literally just silicone. It's just glow in the dark silicone. Sure. And I just ro- roll it around so in my hand. Ball. And like, on more than one occasion, my mom would like come into my room and I'd add the lights off because I'd be playing a game or something. Did you see glow in the dark cock? Well, she'd be like, what's glowing in your hand? Mm. And I'm like, well, actually, this is Chance the Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horse cock. You just need to start talking like it's a D&D character. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um... Uh. Yeah. Uh yeah, bad dragon. Yeah, bad dragon. Yeah, bad dragon. Ever my mom. So the shirt that I have is a dragon, a very muscular, uh, masculine projecting of dragon. Course. Where he's got like he's got his arms folded and whatever, and he's just got a little loincloth. And my mom loves the shirt. She thinks it's like the funniest. She thinks it's a joke. She doesn't realize like what it is. Is so it she's not like, a joke oh. to you? I mean, it, <laughs> it is a joke, but sure. it is like a sex toy thing, and. 
my mom just laughs at it. And she's like, oh, my God, I love that shirt. That's so funny. And I was like, yeah, it's, she yeah, has it's no, great. Like, it's great. No concept of like <laughs> one day you will be found out. <laughs> I dude, my son has a podcast. I <laughs> listen, in. which is like seventy nine. Um, um, yeah. I, uh, I guess ever been to a? I mean, I I know Sean, Sean, you've told a story about you've been to a sex store, and I got to get that video to you. By the way, I still have not finished that. Being video a sex for store you. that weird. I've been to many sex stores. I've I've been to a sex two times. I've been to quite a few. Never one. Actually, yeah, two times. Two times. And uh, it was never. I never bought anything of value. I bought like a, like a straw that had a dick at the end. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> oh, you bought a bumper Banks? sticker. I don't know. <laughs> was it Banks? Was that was what we called him? That's what his name was. Banks. Oh my god! He, the yeah. penis lollipop. Yeah. He went, we went into yeah. Spencer's and he just started shouting for a penis lollipop. Yeah. yeah. And I was just. Like, Dude, one, guy, huh? yeah, I was gonna say that's the same guy that put a bomb threat on his school because he didn't want to take a test or something like that. Yeah, good friends we make yeah. in, in high school. We didn't no, no friend, no out. friend, friend is too strong of a word. Yeah, we went to the mall once. Associated. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, <laughs> yeah. affiliated. Yeah, 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 no, I, I'm pretty sure Sean and him texted a lot actually, but it's whatever. Yes, they talked stop. about how they were gonna do it, but like, <laughs> no, stop. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, well, I do. Uh, back to New York. I fucking hate New York. Okay, I get, I get. So I visit Alexis in New Jersey, but I have to go sure. through New York. Where are you? You don't I'm, mind in, I'm in Connecticut. Yourself? I'm doxing Oh, you yourself. did say that. Yeah. Okay. I'm. <laughs> I I really had a bit in my head, and I know I could have done it. I don't know why I didn't do it. I was just gonna say my full address <laughs> just to you guys. <laughs> just bleep it. I could just bleep it. It would have been funnier. Um, Wait, or I could have made sleep. up an address and then left it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that. My 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 address is literally. <laughs> Sean, that yeah, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> You're just gonna be bleeped. Yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> I have to go to, through New York to get to New Jersey, and I have. So what we normally do is I take a train to New Jersey. Oh, sorry, we t- I take a train to, uh, into the Grand Central, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then I walk 20 minutes to a path train, then head o- 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 on to um, where she lives. Um, so. That did is not how it went. Google Maps changed the location of where I wanted to go, which is great. Love mm-hmm. Google Maps. Changed it 20 blocks further. So when I got Grand Central and said 40 minutes, I'm like, that's weird. But my memory's bad. So, you know, it's probably just a me. Yeah, problem. Maybe there's traffic on the sidewalk. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I have, I, have, I have a horrible memory. So I'm like, maybe I just misremembered. Maybe it is 40 minutes. So I, I, I get to walk in. It's not the right place. I walked th- uh, 20 extra blocks. I walked 32 blocks in total. Hour and nine minutes. Really? Honestly, not that bad. Like, I, I know I don't, I'm fat, so I don't really walk that much. <laughs> but um, the. They used to live in the cities. Yeah, no. I, so it, honestly, I, 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 I didn't, I wasn't like fatigued by that at all, truthfully, because it's all flat. But I was just annoyed because her mom was waiting for me at the other side of the path train. Um, so. But I'm walking around and I just see I fucking hate it, dude. I just see people just like taking selfies in front of like Times Square, not Times Square, like but like the, the you know the big billboards and shit. And it that shit, I I it's I said you still I, like tourism. I t- I tell yeah, right, almost exactly. I tell this story all the time, uh, in the same way. But I just I just like a crotchety old man, like fist, shaking my fist at like young kids that want to take a picture of New York. Because they're like, oh my god, fucking Pepsi advertisement behind me. I'm like, you stupid you really fucking kid. I do, I do like taking pictures of random shit. I'm not yeah. like super annoying with it. Like I don't stop everything yeah. to take a picture, but I want, I want something to remember. So I yeah, got my, my, my. Oh yeah, go on, go on. I, I, I hate New York, the, the New York City. I hate New York City. I've been there. 10, 15 times. You to say like homeless, dirty, expensive, no, it stinks. traffic. It stinks. Don't mind all that. Uh, Whatever. He doesn't hate himself. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but your Just room trash. stinks. Like, you know, like it it's. Does. So that is actually, it really, really does. I haven't, you should see my laundry. They do. No. Point is, no. Um, so I hate walking through New York. I had my mask on the entire time. I, w- I walked, I had my mask on for so long uh, w- outside. Normally people take their mask off when they walk outside. I left it on. Fuck New York. I don't know what's flying around in the air. So I, I, I had it on for so long, walking for so long. I got a sore on my ear. I got a sore on my ear. I can't even wear, a ma- I can't go out anywhere because I can't had, wear a mask. It hurts. 
I had a similar thing on um, last year when I flew out to BWI from Phoenix. I they had the mask mandate thing on the planes too, which is fine and everything, except for you know it takes like two to three hours to get through security, and then it was like a six hour flight, and so it's like. I'm sitting there for like nine hours yeah. with the shitty paper mask yeah. on my yeah. head. And I hate to be like, first of all, okay, I'm not an anti-masker at all, but like the air is being recycled and you take yeah. your masks off to eat and we're all handing each other yeah. trash to yeah. put in the bin. It's a little excessive, yeah. but yeah. regardless, I don't mind. You want to tell me to wear a mask on the plane? I'll wear a mask on the plane. It just fucking hurt my ears. And I yeah. like could like my yeah. ear like hurt for like a week after. I don't want to be that bitch about it. Cause I yeah, wear a I know, I know. It, it, girl, it, but but like, I'm, but, if you're normally wearing a mask, you can complain about wearing a mask. But if you're an anti-masker, that's when you have a problem. Well, Point to is, be honest with you, here in Arizona, they're not really wearing it anymore. No, I, so I, I'm kind of yeah. like, uh. um, but okay. So I'm 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 walking through New York. I get a I get a I get a sore on my fucking ear. I see a bunch of these stupid fucking kids that have just got to New York for the first time taking pictures. I've been to New York as a consumer, not as just like a passerby, five or so times. I've been in New York like ten times. Mm-hmm. so just like or sorry i've been, I've been walking i've walked in new york like 10 times as a consumer as someone who actually goes to the stores browses and buys shit i've been there maybe five maybe maybe a few more than five times memory bad um everything i went to a game store my favorite thing to do whenever i'm anywhere go to a retro game shop and just pick out some shovelware it's i don't i don't know why i just love doing it i fucking love doing it so i go to one in new york i want to buy i see a pokemon platinum Right. Great game. I bought one in in Connecticut for thirty five dollars. I want you guys to guess how much this Pokemon Platinum was in New York. Zach, go ahead. How much? Seventy eight. Sean, I was going to say seventy five somewhere around there. Ninety bucks for this fucking Pokemon no, Platinum. You did not. But you didn't actually pay that. right? I did not buy it. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not okay. going to buy that. <laughs> Uh, I didn't buy anything there. Everything was overpriced. Even the, they had a Sega. What is it called? The, the Genesis Classic, which is the, a shitty version. You know how they, the, the, I if that's like a tax thing too, where they didn't like leverage their their, their know, money because with everything. That. Like when my friends, my friends from Virginia are out here, they were like, "Man, alcohol is so fucking cheap. Like alcohol costs mm-hmm. like thirty percent mm-hmm. less out here, yeah. and that's that's like for sure like a government thing." Yeah, I I I don't know, and I know you know they because New York is very expensive. They got to you know get the money flowing in and i get that sure i'm not going to be spending 90 dollars in pokemon platinum they had a data you know how the uh the nintendo has the nes and snes classic you can play all the retro games on the little yeah. mini version yeah so sega made a genesis classic that was trash apparently they had it for like 70 i think it was like 60 uh 69.99 that thing at launch was 30 and nobody fucking bought it i'm like no i'm not buying anything here and i didn't there's a few stores that I would go into New York in, in New York and actually enjoy. There's a there's a an anime manga I kind of a, fun I little go to store. The Lego store. The Lego store is good, but also very consumer, and I don't like it. I just want to eat food. I just want to eat dope ass food the, the whole time. F- some of the food is, is really what I want. You you got to pick your spots though, because I've been to many places that are good and w- worth the price. I've been to many places that are bad and not worth the price. Um, I feel like though I got to go to New York with the expectation of like yes I am going to overpay you for have, shit but it yeah. is yes. for the it is for the experience there's a, of there's a place in this. New York called that hummus place I would recommend that hands to like you have to have I a love, full wallet actually, I, had, I had a conversation I had like an hour long conversation with someone last night about Mediterranean food fucking love it one of the Mediterranean and Middle Eastern food are some of the most like underrated like yeah. food cultures on the planet more people need to check out your local like Middle Eastern and Mediterranean food spots. Mm-hmm. Dude, mm-hmm. Dude. Okay. So very, some very good food in New York. And I've, I, when I go with my, so I used to go with my aunt uh, when I was like in high school and she knew the places that were good and worth the money. I don't, I don't, I, whenever I go now, I just go with a bunch of people. that don't know, don't know what the fuck they're doing, per, honestly. So like we kind of just browse around. There's a one store. There's a manga, a uh, little manga slash cafe store. Um, and it's awesome. You can go in there. I we went in there. You know, uh, the Sean, you were were you there when we went there? I think I was there. Yeah, that was when the bird shit on me. <laughs> I was fucking. Yeah, angry. yeah, yeah. Um, and you had fucking... your fucking Chipotle. Yeah. Really great place. You can just sit down. We there were a bunch of fucking weebs playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on a handheld switch on a switch handheld mode. It was awesome. That that stuff really cool. Everything else bothers me. I don't like the fucking the the the. I, I I hate New York. I hate I really, my really don't like, like my New York. Like, oh, go ahead. 
No, I said my biggest problem is uh, I just make eye contact with everyone. So, like, even the mm-hmm. scammers that are like, hey, it's you just... want to buy this watch? I'll just look at them, and I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck, I wasn't supposed to actually look yeah. at this fucker. Yeah, so... Just you... imagining a guy with a strap, just some big, buffed, like, gangster-looking dude with a strap, and you're just, like, staring at him on the subway <laughs> yeah, for a little can... too long. Because if someone makes a noise, I look. I'm like, I don't know. If, like, I don't know if that's, like, ADD or stupidity, but, like, I just... I just my head just goes. Alexis gets really mad at me when I say no thank you to walking through New York, because she's, she's originally from Staten Island, so she gets the vibe, like, don't, re- you don't really Walk even want to talk to don't, them. Yeah. I've, I've come to the point where I just put in some fucking Apple headphones, and I just walk, and I don't, I don't like look at anybody, even if I hear someone talking to me, I just go forward like I don't even hear them. That's just the my, easiest way to go about it. <laughs> Going back to, like, the food in New York, though, one of my mm. favorite things to, like, look at online is, like, New Yorkers that think that, like, everything is unique to them. Like, you don't have the fucking bodega back at home. It's like, yeah. what, a grocery store? Yeah, I don't have right. a fucking corner yeah. shop where I yeah. live? Okay. They, they don't make the fucking, I don't know, I don't want to say chopped cheese like every fucking New York yeah, corner yeah, store bodega yeah. is making chopped cheese. But you, you get the you get the picture. Yeah. And then the fucking dollar slices, and there's a whole hubba, hullabaloo. A whole lot of hubbub oh, blue. going oh, on. Blue. Isn't that from fucking Pooh Bear? Or not? Yeah, Winnie the Pooh or I something. I hate cancel culture. Let's start hullabaloo. Let's start can- <laughs> can- fucking dirty yeah, gababa yeah. hubbabaloo. <laughs> Hashtag dirty gababa hubbabaloo. That's that's for the next name fucking, the episode. That's awesome. We got it. Um, <laughs> bro, what was I going to say? That's a cute ass cat, bro. That's a fucking yeah, cute cat. Jesus. Sorry, go ahead. The, the, the dollar shop slice shops have forever in New York City been selling okay ass pizza slices for a dollar, like forever. Except yeah. for recently, I think they kind of upped it to like dollar twenty or something, and people freaked the fuck out. Yeah, like like people couldn't handle this idea that it, like you, in twenty twenty two, a dollar for a slice of pizza is no longer viable. And yeah shit the bed on twitter mm-hmm. but as someone outside of it it's very funny to watch people be like i can't i can't afford pizza anymore because yeah, it's a yeah. dollar and 25 cents yeah. like i don't know just from an outsider's perspective it's like i don't know maybe go fuck yourself it's pretty goofy it's pretty goofy i just i i i mean i, I always say we that i flood hate- new york again go ahead what is we that should, we should we should flood new york again who flooded new york publicly oh, threatened, like, like threatened. recently like in the last year that you're talking that about hurricane? that yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know, Ty, our our good friend, uh, Ty, who you know. you know of, yeah, yeah, the guy who works for Spike Lee and everything. He was kind of he was in, living in New York City. He goes back and forth between living in New York City and New Jersey. Um, he was in New York City while those floods were happening, though, and I hadn't talked to him in a while. And I was like, uh, I had to reach yeah. out to him. They'd yeah. be like, "Are you fucking okay, dude?" Yeah, that shit was crazy. Um, I thought you were talking about. The I Batman. bet for a whole week it. I bet for a whole week it didn't smell like piss. No, it's probably there's probably, it's like probably smell worse. It's not like, like, like wet. They piss. probably just should have thrown soap into that. Just for a little <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> dry piss. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably worse. Um, uh, yeah, and I saw uh, like fuck New York. Fuck uh, yeah, fuck New York. I, I always say fuck New York, and um, I get corrected, and they're like fuck New York City, and I'm like okay, but like who the no. fuck at where else are you going other than New York, New York City, and Staten Island? And I also hate Staten Island. Now, to pivot, actually, before I get to that. I see you also hating, like, a buffalo or Ithaca or some shit, too. No, just, just the, yeah, the animal, the buffalo. I fucking hate it. But, um, that was a stupid joke. Cut that. I, I, it's me. I You're just the one cut responsible that. for cutting that. I know, I'm cutting that. it. I'm cutting that. That was a horrible joke. I think joke. you should zoom in and emphasize it or put a laugh track over it or something. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Do you hear that? So Sean has has a soundboard, and it sounds. I also awful. have a soundboard. It sounds <laughs> awful through Discord. Sean sounds awful through Discord. I don't know what he did wrong. <laughs> it, it sounds so bad. It's so, it's so it's shitty. Cause I, it's because I bumped it. I literally, I could just go in and change the the volume. You got sound pads, like, Zach? Is that what you got? No, I actually set this up to talk to my friends on on Xbox, and uh, I got to be really careful because a lot of these are like copyrighted sounds. But give me one second to Who switch cares, my Discord dude. input over. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, cut like, that, cut that, cut that. Like, if, I, if I set this to like this, you'll like this. <laughs> it sounds better. It still sounds pretty blown out, though. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Can Evan's laugh is so fucking funny, though. Sir, your wife is up in the air. That sounds so much better than I don't know what you did wrong, Sean. That's, I didn't. 
What's funny? What's funny with this is I can't. I usually can hear it. I don't know why I can't hear it. I can hear it. We, we heard that. I know yeah, you can hear it. What do you use? Voice something? What is it called? Voice meter is voice the meter. like audio mixer, and then XP soundboard is the voice meter banana. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I, I, banana. I think that's what it's called, right? I think that's like the the tr- the light version is voice meter banana. And dude, Ben just pulls out random dumbass shit. Yeah, I just want to sound that. smart. I don't know why I can't hear it. Usually I can hear it because I like to time these sounds up. Yeah, we can we can definitely hear it. It sounds beautiful. It sounds actually wonderful compared to Sean's fucking Evan laugh. That sounds like garbage, bro. Hey, maybe Have I you should... thought about Sonic's stinky feet? I mean, can you imagine how bad they stink after he's Wait. been running around all day? Where did I, I saw this meme recently. It's like a pay money wubby live stream. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I saw that recently, like in a tweet or something. Did you see this? All right. You guys, you guys mess with your soundboard and then I'll get back to the topics. I don't mind. <laughs> play <laughs> well, some I funny shit. It. I was play some funny uh, shit because honestly, we need content. So I mean, like I'm down to play whatever you want to play. You got to wake up, please. Let's turn on the TV to hit the Pentagon. <laughs> but I feel like it, it almost feels like a fucking Gmod lobby. You know what I mean? Like it's like the yeah. mic spam. Oh, okay. uh, hold on, someone's at my door, dude. Mike, nothing yeah, playing. I can't hear, <laughs> I can't hear shit. You can't, you... <laughs> <laughs> it's playing. Nothing is playing at all. I don't know why my soundboard isn't playing for me. <laughs> Nothing's playing, Hold Sean. Hold <laughs> you on, said dude. someone's at my door. Just <laughs> he's completely silent. Hold, Hold on, on, someone's at my door. Hold on, someone's at my door, dude. You heard that, dude? No. <laughs> I don't know if you're actually. I don't know if this is a bit that I'm missing. Wait, why is it not playing? It's playing. It looks like. Hold on, let me see. People are tuning in by the. <laughs> what is that? Oh, hold on. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta, I bumped it all the way up to uh, 98. Let's see, 98. What's this? It's a, it's said Gary Q AK 47 loop. Oh, it does not sound like that, that Gary Q at all. The one and only. I don't, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking this shit off. I can't fucking. Oh, did you see? Wait, I'm not done with Sonic. It ain't happening today. I ain't losing that thought. Um, so, penis, 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 penis. I was walking through. What was I doing? I was walking through New York, and um, I, 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 I'm walking by this subway and en- uh, exit or entrance, whatever. And there's a, just a bag of garbage six feet away, very New York. And um, I see this fucking rat that's the size of a fucking raccoon just jolt into it. And this family next to me, thank you. This family next to me is just yelling about it. Like, yo, you see that rat? And I said, no, I, I saw the rat. I saw the rat. I hate, th- I fucking hate this place. I, <laughs> it, I, I, it was, it was uh, uh, abysmal. I hate New York and Staten Island's even worse. They, they, they are all like, so Staten Island what apparently the is there in Staten Island. I've always heard about Staten Island in it. A mall in Vinny from Jersey shore. You get Sean. That sounded much better. That sounded Thank much you. better. It was very yeah. loud, but yeah. it did sound better. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Staten Island Mall is a place where a bunch of high schoolers in that age dress really cringe, like very like, you know, you know, like a chain, like a black, just a straight black T-shirt with their muscles showing, you know, it just really cringe shit that I feel like is really outdated. And they just take selfies of like fucking hedges. You just hate people taking selfies. I I, (laughs) Dude, it's like it's it's an unrealistic thing that I it's irrational to hate it as much as I do. I don't know why I, I gotta get it. you a selfie stick for Christmas. I feel like I'm just bitter because I don't. I have nothing in my life that is uh, uh, that's that, satisfi- that's not that's satisfying, that but satisfying. like, uh, but like uh, entertaining. Like, there's nothing in my life. Like, hey, I'm playing yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Ball on a cup. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. <laughs> a ball on a cup. That's true, actually. Um, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I also just hate like social anything. So. That'll do it to me. Uh, I wanted to ask Zach, <laughs> what is your what is your uh, go to uh, drink? Doesn't even have to be a beer. What is your go to drink? Like alcoholic beverage? Yeah. 
Gin and tonic. I'm a gin Brian guy. loves a ready Brian. I hope that he hops on here at some point because he he is awesome and he's very good. It's at not coffee. my favorite drink. Like I've had better drinks, but like I know everywhere has a gin and tonic. I know I like gin. It's a good starter drink that yeah. I know typically isn't too expensive while I review the menu. But I have a really nice gin. I spent some money on a good gin that top I shelf keep at gin. home. Yeah. It, well, not top shelf, but Mid like shelf. some for yeah for my price range, what I'm willing to spend on alcohol. Top. Yeah, the the shelf. BJ's variety pack of gin. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, dude. I remember. I remember when I was younger. I used to buy those fucking twenty dollar handles of vodka and and like. Like a Fleischmann's or something, and in what the Kraken, the Kraken rum for like the, twenty dollars, and it's like, like the size of your head. Yeah, yeah, the big fucking plastic jug of just like rubbing alcohol vodka that we used to buy <laughs> when I was younger. Um, but, but um, no, no, no. I get like a really nice bottle of gin, and when I'm at home, I'll make like little gin and tonics. But that red solo cup, this is just fucking. Yeah, thank, thanks to shout out again to a uh, good friend, Ethan, for buying a 24 pack of Bud Light seltzers and then drinking two of them and leaving the rest at my have house. You, <laughs> have I you would made not buy the, that on my own. Have you made the mistake of the Bud Light uh, flannel seltzers from fall? I didn't, fall? I didn't hate them when I had them. They're flannel awful. Seltzers? I didn't hate yeah, them. It was like they had like a it was like toasted marshmallow. It was apple pie. It was it was garbage. It was terrible. The what apple that? pie. What does that mean? Is that is that like a good or bad pie. reaction? I like apple pie. Uh, apple pie is he good. Said toasted mar- you. He said toasted marshmallow. I was like toasted marshmallow hard seltzer. What the fuck? And you said yeah. apple pie, and then you were speaking my language. No, okay, no. I and had maple, it. It was like maple pecan or something. Yeah, I had it expecting to hate it because Sean said he hated it. Yeah, I didn't hate it. It was fucking. It was terrible. And Ben has Ben doesn't even scrape his tongue. That's why you know is he's not gonna what like. What the fuck is that roast, you little bitch? Remember. You little fucking. You, you gotta never. have a beard to look like a fucking twenty year old. You little <laughs> bitch. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I like beer. I like beer. I, I I don't like beer. I hate I hate alcohol. For some reason, I, I know a lot of people that hate beer. Ben's There's actually an alcoholic. He drinks um the peanut butter. Uh, what do you call Peanut it? Butter whiskey. You I had that for a while, and then I got really bad Screwball. stomach pains. Yeah. Screwball, yeah. I got really bad stomach pains, and I stopped drinking it. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do alcohol. I, I am, I, I'm very stupid. Um, I don't but drink that much these days. I, I do a lot, a lot more recently because of my <laughs> trip and everything. I, I don't, I don't drink. Yo, Joe, Joe's. Joe might have hop. Joe might maybe. join. You're gonna love mm-hmm. Joe, I mean, or you might hate him. He's kind of obnoxious, yeah, it, but he's it, like obnoxious actually, in the best way. It, you are either gonna love Joe, or you're gonna. It, it's okay if you don't like. Yeah, him, but, but, okay. <laughs> but I just to, to to finish this topic up. I don't like beer, Sean. You like IPAs, don't you? Yeah. What did I just have? I just had Petal Prophecy Honey IPA. That sounds like, a, like that sounds like I, the things that like Hillary Clinton drinks with babies in him or whatever. Well, Hillary does, Clinton doesn't drink water. Did you know about that? No, no, dude, what? Cedar Rapids. <laughs> what does she say? I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> You're right. Very, very <laughs> funny article. There's a hilarious article, and again, I hate that. He just drinks hot sauce? Stuff. Yeah, she carries <laughs> hot sauce around in her purse. But no, um, remember that time during her campaign where she kept collapsing and having those health issues? Mm-hmm. A lot of it was because she refuses to drink water. She only drinks like sodas, juices, milk, stuff like that. She does not drink water. And um, her you can I swear to God, you can fact check this. Her own campaign were putting out statements about this because at the time, Donald Trump was like, she's not healthy. Blah, blah, blah. Um, that isn't healthy. <laughs> one, of, one of her Secret Service members was like, he has a quote where it's like, you try getting Hillary Clinton to drink water <laughs> as a response to getting questioned as to why she's not drinking water. Um, is, it, is it out of fear of being poisoned? Be like my mom. No, I don't know. I think I don't know why she she has rabies. She could have like a prolonged rabies. I think she just doesn't. I think she thinks it's boring or something, but I don't know. Boring. My Um, sister doesn't drink water because uh, it's boring. I think that's fucking weird. The CEO, the old CEO of um, not Wegmans. What's it called? Um, Whole Foods says he doesn't drink plain water. He or he doesn't have water. Like he gets most of his water from his juiced fruits and stuff. Like it's fruits and veggies and stuff. He's like, oh yeah, I, I eat plenty I guess of like if you eat like nothing but cucumbers and watermelon, you'd be okay. But I, you'd have to eat a lot. Give me your boat most based takes. What is the best water uh uh bottled water? Oh, See, I, I hate this conversation because like the the girl that I'm seeing, you have a name. You'd fucking you'd probably watch this if fucking 
if Megan's watching this, she'll know fucking I, she has the fucking water game on lock and I trust her opinion. I don't give a shit. I drink the clear <laughs> shit that gets me hydrated. I really don't give a so shit. So you don't, you don't have boring, a boring sure, but I don't give a fuck. Look, some waters I taste, and I'm like, that tastes weird. And I will say the tap water in Phoenix sucks. Don't look at your water reports if you live in Phoenix. If you live in Phoenix, Arizona, and you drink tap water, and you want to keep drinking tap water, just don't look at the reports of what's yeah, in your water. Yeah. I'll spare you the knowledge, but just don't look it up. Because it's more than just some microbes or whatever. It's fucking, they're putting, there's weird shit getting through. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just like water. I, I dude, I, I don't. Yeah, I, we heard, I, that I was just, a, that was a bit. But what did you say, Sean? I said I could hear your ear flapping when you did mm-hmm. that. Just you know, you're gonna. <laughs> My ear flapping. Funny. I have I have eczema. That's just unrelated. Mm-hmm. I just want to let you guys know. I was gonna say eczema doesn't make your <laughs> ear. <laughs> so the base base water pollen ring, no question. Just period. And the story. Drink like water. Evian is supposed I've never to be had like that, so it might, or something. It might be. I don't know. I, I don't drink bottled water. I, I use a Brita filter and then fill a giant you ass. You fucking water vegan, water. dude. Who the fuck do you think you are? You think you're better than me because you're not drinking bottled water, you little pussy? You little pussy ass <laughs> bitch, dude. You gotta say like, the amount of people I know that buy bottled water, just drink half of it, and then fucking never touch it again is absurd to me. I'll buy a bottle of water if I do buy a bottle of water, which I don't do a whole lot, but, and then I'll use the bottle for like a fucking week. Dude, yeah. I bought this bottle like a week or two ago, and I keep spring. washing it and refilling it. Is it? The I don't fucking know. Bottle, I bought yeah. this at a gas station in between Las Vegas and Arizona. <laughs> and a, in a drug field, in a drug field stumber, I walked into a gas station and pulled out this fucking random water yeah. bottle, and I've been drinking out of it for a fucking dude. I mean, I week. I don't. I. I mean, I don't normally. If I'm out, obviously, I want because I don't. I don't. Soda doesn't really get me off like it used to. I kind of, I'm kind of just very water my or rocks iced tea. Off. Yeah, it doesn't get my rocks off. Uh, so I'm like a my water iced tea. My family drinks so much soda, it concerns me. But I kind of that's stop. cavities. That's mad cavities. I don't want to get into roasting my family, but like I've seen certain members of my family yeah. pour three cans of soda in the one large cup and then do it again later in the day. Oh, I, I, I have, I have a story for that. Um, but I'm not. I'm not like at this point. I I like I like have a coke because it's easy and then I'll snort some, and it's that's all I need. I, I I do that for real. I know you're joking, but yeah, snort coke yeah. or snort like the drink. Anyway, so um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so have you met? Yeah, right. Um, can he hook me up? Because so, I need an East Coast contact now. Did I need a? I need a. With a key can bump, we please, can, can we just make this like like a drug dealing Dude. network podcast? Yeah, we only like deal while like on, like on this call, and then I'll just like give you drywall, but you can't f- be mad at me until the next podcast. That would be You're great. You're sponsored by the Horrors of Las Vegas, and it's about like networking with drug dealers right. in different cities. That's awesome. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And, I, and I'll, and, I'll so and I can make the title. Zach does coke on camera, but you have to just have pretend to do it, and then we get views. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Pret- I mean, pretend to do, pretend yeah, to pretend to do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an open book. I mean, you know, I'll, I, I'm not afraid to say what I've done, but also I do have a, 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 a genuine job yeah. where people know what I look like, and I don't know about <laughs> like putting that on camera. Just, just doing a key bump in the foreseeable future. I can do. I'll, I'll, I'll fake snort something. What can I? What can I fake snort? If I'm faking uh, it, then I don't got to do anything. Fake, you should I'm fake snort um, six, six Benadryl. I was, I, was thinking, I was thinking it would be a funny bit if I, if I like cut up the, the Coke with my credit card and I just actually show my entire credit card number. <laughs> that would be, that would be very funny. Funny bit ideas. It's just, just like losing all my money. Danger. That would be a funny bit. Like if I cut up my drugs with my social security card. <laughs> um, um, if, I just, if I just roll... I, yeah. I don't know. I shouldn't uh, mess up. Smoking a blunt with your birth certificate. Yeah. <laughs> um, did we, was there any topic that we left unfinished? Because my brain is, I've been very scattered brain lately. I don't know what the fuck the deal uh, is. Uh, again, like, yeah. you know, trip to New York. I took my the fucking bender in Vegas and this guy uh, went on a bad dragon bender, bad dragon <laughs> binge uh, by his lonesome waiting for us. So we've all, we're all a bit scattered brained yeah. and walking caddy wampus. So, you a- know. So Zach, I'm fucked up. Okay. Like I have, <laughs> I have really bad memory. I think I have ADHD, but I've never been tested for it. Pretty and sure. Uh, yeah. 
And I, yeah, I think we talked about that. And yeah. um, uh, I have a f- I have GERD, but I think there's more than GERD because my stomach has been continuously hungry no matter what I how much I eat. Like I ate two big ass sandwiches and I was full for like 20 minutes and now I'm, I'm hungry again. I'm hungry now. Don't know what the fuck I the issue to, is. I hate to give this advice because I feel like for certain people, it's a slippery slope into a genuine eating disorder. Yeah. But I have a similar thing with you where like when I eat a lot, like I'm, I'm currently in that state right now because again, I've just was out eating with my mm-hmm. friends a whole bunch and I was eating mm-hmm. a bunch of ridiculous stuff. And now that I'm gone, like they're all gone and I'm on my lonesome. I'm still like eating McDonald's and like just a bunch of random shit all yeah. the time when I can't stop. But I've, but I've been that way before. And honestly, what I kind of need to do to get myself out of it is to take like two days to like barely eat. Right. To take two days to where it's like, I'm pretty much just not eating anything. And if I'm eating something, it's like I have a cup of coffee and like some carrots or some fucking cucumbers or something. And like, that's it for the day. Please, not medical advice, please. For the love of God, I don't want to be responsible for someone's yeah. anorexia. Yeah. Uh, but like, you know, what that does for me is it like resets my stomach, like my stomach shrinks or whatever the fuck, or it just becomes used to that amount of food. So mm-hmm. like, subsequently I'm eating a normal volume of food and it feels right. Again, I just notice if I'm eating large quantities and volume of food, like more so than usual on a consistent basis, it is incredibly hard to work myself back from that unless I take it to the extreme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like immediately. I yeah, just stop being fat. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the, 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 I had a, I tried to talk with my, one of my, my former, former manager, uh today uh on a call and uh i have protein shakes every day and mm-hmm. i don't know if you i have, no uh, i mean yeah yeah you see this shit dude you see this shit right now uh no no i i have it i just i have it i have it i have it for uh just for like breakfast just what do you put meal. in the when you say protein shake do you mean protein powder or do you mean protein powder two a banana one banana and then frozen fruit if i have it I've been, we don't have oh. frozen fruit in the house right now. So I've been doing like two bananas and I think that's what's been fucking out my stomach I, real bad. I don't, I thought bananas are supposed to be exceptionally good for your stomach. I, thought, I, thought, I uh, think I, that's what I thought until I, I, it might just be coincidental. You but. could have an issue with, cause doesn't you get your fucking protein powder from Adam, right? Mm-hmm. I, I was thinking there might be gluten dealer. in it, and I have some some sort of gluten issue that I didn't know about I until know, now. No, I also about, am suspicious. I have a gluten issue, but I don't want to be one of those fuckers that's like, mm, yeah. I have celiacs. I want to eat gluten free without yeah. going to a medical yeah. professional a and getting genuinely yeah. diagnosed with something. Yeah, but I, I have a suspicion. <laughs> I could go deeper into that, but I don't know. If people are fucking interested in my. And well, I have a really interesting stomach situation, not only because of that, but the you know getting my intestines chiseled apart from each other. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm fucked up. My my stomach has just been an issue recently, and I think it's like I think it's actually like affecting mental health and stuff because I was uh-huh. really burned mm-hmm. out at work, uh, like last week and the week before, really burned out. Like I didn't want to. I used to. Well, yeah. I, I, used to, I mean, it's just. Well, sorry. I, I can imagine if you're uncomfortable, like with the GERD and stuff. Yeah. That I mean, that also I is heard. like I've never heard of that before. Gastroenterology, enterological. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. making shit up. He's probably right, but I, 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 I want to say he's making it's shit reflux. up. It's funny. It's basically your stomach. So you have um, your mouth, and then your esophagus, and then your stomach down here, and there's a little. Uh, I hope so. Uh, there's a little valve, um, that's supposed to close completely, almost like a like it's. I think it's called a sphincter. Uh, uh, the f- people with GERD, it it stays open. And so the mm. stomach acid splashes out and burns your esophagus. It's it, like some it kind of weird reverse sleep apnea, but for food. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I, I don't know. Sleep <laughs> apnea. Sleep apnea is where like your tongue falls back on your like esophagus sure. as oh, you're trying to breathe is. during your sleep, and it causes snoring and all sorts of yeah. health issues. I'm saying it's something getting left open, causing food issues. Gastroesophageal, um, not enteritis. Esophageal reflux disease. Yeah. Esophagus. So basically, I mean, long you story. Got a bad throat hole, dude. Well, no. Yeah. Well, I guess Ooh. I got a bad bad sphincter in my fucking mouth. But um, my long story short, my stomach hurts all the time. Like pretty much all the time. Yeah, I can't go to bed without taking a Pepsi. I used to be on pills, but the the pills that I I, I take, uh, they say not to go off of them at all, not even for a day. And I went off of them for uh, two weeks, and they didn't have the effect that they had for the first uh, month I had them. 
and they, they, they did not work like they were supposed to. My mom said that I should stop. I should, cause she's a medical professional. She said I should hop off of them for like three months. See if my, my immunity to them, come, it goes away. Um, we'll see if that happens. Um, but, I, but it, it, I, I, it, it, it really, I think it had a big effect on my mental health. And it, it, at this point, it's having a really bad effect on my patients. Like, I can't be fucked to do, to do anything for anyone at this point. Yeah. Like, it's real bad. Um, I get I get that way when I have, like, uh, or when I was having, like, a bad asthma flare, like, set of, you remember, you remember, like, a couple months ago, like, I even went to the hospital because I had, like, a weird asthma flare mm-hmm. thing. And it's like, if you're at all discomforted, like whether it's breathing or your stomach hurts or something, it's just like anyone could say something dumb as shit. And you're like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. I like, know. Can I just say, can we just say that this the regurgitated podcast wants to normalize tummy issues in tummy adults? Issues. I, feel, I still love the tummy, dude. I love it. I did tell my favorite the tummy. watching last episode. Yeah. Like, get in my fucking tummy, dude. Get this <laughs> get little Clementine bitches. Belly, get dude. all up yeah. in my fucking belly, dude. Um, this is so but, good. Uh, Hashtag uh, normalized tummy issues, please. Truly. I I know I know most people, like not most people, but I know I go through my life, and no one talks about like digestive or intestinal issues at at all. Like like, like it's like, like ne- never mm-hmm. in social media do we people talking about it. Never is a thing on TV. Never is it like because it's really boring, right? I mean, anything. No, I don't know, but I hear people talk about gross. other medical issues, but I swear to fucking God, half the people, if not more than half the people I know, have some kind of issues where just like yeah. they have IBS or some foods just don't work with their fucking stomach or people like me that had like, I don't really have a super messed up stomach. I just have an insane amount of bloating paired with, again, like my intestines getting chopped up, but like. You know, I, I just like most people I know have some weird shit going on with their tummy. Yeah, it's yeah, it's true. They we got we normalize hashtag normalize tummy issues. I want to see it in. Me- I want to see it in media. I want to yeah. see more tummy issue representation yeah. in film and I'll video the, games. Uh, when I upload the video to YouTube, you know how you can like put a, a fucking hashtag in the in the thing, and it'll you can actually like search up hashtag whatever, and it'll bring it up like it's a normal yeah. social media hashtag normalize tummy issues and, and also uh try to figure out how to spell blumble lumble 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 or whatever the fuck blumble, i said blumble, earlier blumble, the, go ahead whatever what? i fucking said earlier in the episode the you'll find it when you're yeah. the hullabal- yeah, yeah. grubble up a hubble yeah. balloon yeah, yeah. yeah um and people will definitely search for that it'll be great for seo yeah, yeah. there's a there's a niche that's untapped in the grubble up a hullabaloo <laughs> movement and, uh, and, the nor- <laughs> and then in the normalized tummy issues people are definitely searching for these terms yes dude that's uh, be- last episode was like you got halo infinite mm-hmm. for seo mm-hmm. you got apples for mm-hmm. seo this time you really got fucking jack shit bits good luck finding us yeah fucking grubble up a lubba hubble I can't even say it. That's how. That's how difficult it. You I know. think you literally said it. No, no, no. I know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, but it, it's it's really fucking annoying. My great currently my my stomach issues, and it's like it, they're fairly minor, so it makes me feel bad for complaining about them. But the truth is, no, it's like it's I, not it, minor. Dude. It, they it does put you on medications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um, I, um, don't fucking I hate when you do that dude don't fucking patronize me it's okay retard shut up don't fucking do that you little bitch <laughs> go ahead Zach let's, ex- let's explore that why did you why did you get upset about that let's explore that go ahead Zach defensive dude. Well, I, I was just I was just gonna say that like I don't know I feel like people don't think about what they how they eat like affects them as much as it does yeah. and I'm certainly like I've been eating like shit recently too and I just cannot I don't I do not have the energy to work or do like anything right now mm. but like throughout my life with experiences with you know either things that are prescribed to me or things that are not prescribed to me you realize how quickly some little thing can vastly alter like your like experience you're you're like yeah. dealing with right now yeah. and i just feel like food has such an important impact as to how you feel how you think mm. how you move and this isn't even some weird like bullshit health thing as to like to be eaten better but like Aside from just weight loss or living longer or whatever, too, I just fucking like I can think right yeah. when I'm eating right. Yeah. Like I, I just genuinely I'm like a better person when I'm not like s- subscribed to the McDonald's drive through. Right. Right. There, there are certain times where the, the McDonald's up my road, like knows my name. Like there's a high turnover. Mm-hmm. So like there's a lot of people like change in there. And like when I go off of it for a while and I start coming back, they don't know me. But mm-hmm. like. There are certain times in my life where, like, they, the the yeah. McDonald's employees know me a little too well, and what's I'm your, like, what's your go-to order? 
do a medium 10 piece nugget meal with sweet and sour sauce and either a, you're going to hate me for this a diet coke or a sprite oh, I fucking and then hate you diet add coke. A, and then you add a cheeseburger with no onions or if you're feeling real hungry uh or a mcdouble with no onions or if you're exceptionally hungry you can do a quarter pounder but that's so rare yeah, yeah do you want to get into diet coke because i fucking um, hate diet coke i hate diet coke I, it tastes like fucking chemicals to me but i want to tell you my order do you know what i mean make, it, do you know what to make chemicals brother hey listen brother it doesn't taste like chemicals. <laughs> um, okay, Zach, do you know what a McGangbang is? Do you know what a McGangbang you is? You do. I do. That's fucking awesome because it was an old Urban Dictionary term that circulated oh. on the internet when I was younger. But yeah, yeah. yeah so they know it. Gen Z over I went <laughs> Gen Z, bro. You, you and I are millennials. You and I are fucking Excuse dude. It's the fucking those dirty millennials. But um, so hey. um. I went, I went to a McDonald's one time. Really cool story. Unrelated. I always go again, McD- McDouble McChicken and uh, in a, in a medium uh, a vanilla smoothie, make, make a McGang bang with a vanilla smoothie. Mm-hmm. Great time. I went there one time and I accidentally said, can I get a McDouble and a McGang bang? And then they were like, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Can I get a McDouble and a McChicken? And they were like, do you want a McGang bang? And I was like, fuck, yeah. I, got, I think you got lucky. I think you got lucky got with really a really lucky. cool yeah. and McDonald's I, employee. I, I, I don't think we should be recommending people to pull up to their yeah, local yeah, drive. I, I, I wouldn't or I, do it or send video. I don't fucking care. Yeah. I, I used to work at McDonald's. I think it's funny. Well, they they gave me a McGang. They only charged me for a McDouble, which was first. First of all, awesome. Obviously. And, and, and a, a smoothie, but or the shake. But um, uh they made it better than I've ever made a McGangbang in my life because they, mm. they prepared it from ground up as a McGangbang. You, from ground zero. Uh, you ground zero. actually, I want to, I want to interject here with something too. So they made you your custom sandwich to order. Yeah. So do you guys remember last year, if not early this year, when McDonald's introduced their menu hack menu items? Um, I do. I never did anything with it though. So McDonald's came out with... He does. He'll just start playing fucking. It's ADHD, dude. He'll just start playing guitar. Just try to ignore it. Fucking, I got my guitar back there too. You can, but I'm yeah, not gonna feel free if you ever want to pull out the just guitar. Do dueling guitars. Yeah, dude. Just, um, no, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at it. I, I was in a band in high school, and I got kind of okay at the guitar for a minute, and then I fell off of it. Yeah. Um, so it's whatever. But so M- McDonald's came out with their menu hack, menu items. Their advertising was impeccable. You want some fucking nuggets on your burger? We'll put some fucking nuggets on your burger. Surf and turf. Not that I would like the fire. I don't even like seafood that much to begin with. You put it for McDonald's seafood. I'm like, uh. but either way, like, man, you want your fucking filet of fish on your fucking Big Mac? We'll put your fucking filet of fish. Like, the advertising made it these big amalgamation Frankenstein things, big banners everywhere. I get the McDonald's app. Yeah, I'm that loyal. And they start sending me notifications. Check out our menu hack items. Check out your menu mm-hmm. hack mm-hmm. items. I go, I got to check this shit out. They're putting fucking McNuggets in the McDoubles now. I drive all the way down to my local McDonald's. Well, they don't accept I it. Say, I already know where this is going. They don't accept no, it. No, 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 no. Quite the contrary. <clears throat> so they, I go, I pull up to the drive through and um, I think the, the one with the chicken nuggets and the burger, I want to say maybe it was called the McCrispy. I don't fucking remember. Someone can fact check me on that. But for the sake of argument, it's called the McCrispy. I pull up to the drive through I say, excuse me. I would like one McCrispy, please. And I say, what kind of sauce do you want? And I say, I'll have some barbecue sauce. But I see it on the menu. It says McDouble with like four piece chicken nuggets. And I was like, okay, well, maybe it's just not programmed in their system the, the right way or something. I pull forward, they, I pay for it, they hand me my items. And I, I, I'm in my car and I open it up and it's not assembled. It's just it's just a McDouble and a four piece chicken nuggets. And I alone in my car opened up the McDouble and put the nuggets. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. the saddest moment yeah. of my life. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, like, that's like the thing of like that's but, the thing of Go ahead. No, I'm just, He's just talking about ass. He's just talking about ass. You can go ahead. I was, gonna, I was gonna say I put French fries on my burgers all the time. Oh, that's yeah. fine. And it's like I get it. That's the menu hack. Is like you always had that option to like put the shit on there, and that's why they're doing it. But when you advertise this image of the burger with the nuggets on it, and I pull up to your drive-through when I order that menu item, and now I'm just an adult man alone in his car 
fucking spilling sauce and yeah, putting the yeah, fucking nuggets yeah. on the burger. Yeah. Made me feel like shit. Yeah. Also, you guys are on the East Coast. We have In and Out out here. No, we're not. No, we're not. No. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your address is uh, 1203 Negro Aurora Lane, <laughs> yeah, 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 Albuquerque, right. New Mexico. Right, right. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so in and outs out here do this thing where you can either ask for it in a bag like a normal person, or if you're eating it in your car, they'll ask you, are you eating this in your car? And they'll give you a little tray to eat it in your car, which sounds nice. And certainly if you're with more people or you just get a burger, it's fine. And look, I'm a, I'm a fucking... Like I eat like a fat ass and I certainly, you know, I, I'm not in my best shape right now, but I used to be like significantly heavier than what I was. And then I got in shape and now I'm kind of in between. But like during that time when I would eat such garbage, I would go to in and out and I, I would forget about this. It'd be like midnight, one of the few places in this area that are open that late. And I'll be like, yeah, can I get like a McDouble and like one thing of animal style fries and a chocolate milkshake. And then like, fuck it. Another cheeseburger. I would just add, it was just a ridiculous mm. order. Mm. And then they'd say, do you want to eat this in your car? <laughs> and I would say, and at first I was like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck and then yeah. I pull up to the drive through and it's just me. And they're handing me like three burgers yeah, like and a, a bunch milkshake. of shit. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's like, this is for you and you're going to ask again, like you, you're eating this in your car. Right. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I guess. Um, and then I learned very quickly to stop. Even now, if it's just like a really small order, I'm not telling them I'm eating it in my car. Yeah. There's no reason. If that yeah, but they're, they're watching. They'll go. You'll go around the building, and they'll yeah. look. You'll go into a parking space. And you're like this. Fucking well, idiot. just ask me. Do you want a tray? If you ask me, do you want a tray? I'd be like, yeah, maybe I do want a tray. But fuck, I don't want to fucking. Yeah, Listen, I will always you I'm take a free tray. My car. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to admit that I'm that something i like eating in my car for some reason it's it's whatever i guess it's just like traveling back home it's like it's a part of my outing or something mm. no it feels but good like, yeah i i, like I this, had Burger King on the way home today and i there, sat in my car yeah there's something sad about like telling another adult i'm about to eat this in my car i don't feel that way oh uh, yeah mm. brother you gotta you gotta get on the bandwagon of not giving a fuck dude I don't I mean, be the case. About some things, but but look, but ordering like three cheeseburgers and telling a man you're gonna about to eat it in your car that that is that is, is objectively bit, funny. I don't know about yeah. sad. I don't. I don't. I, like I the other day I went uh, alone to McDonald's. Got yeah. I got my normal thing. Uh-huh. And I, I literally. I yeah, I literally went troop and I just parked right there, right in front of the window. I didn't give a <laughs> shit at them. all. Um, which is objectively funny because I, I because I have gained a lot of weight and I got fat titties. And I'm sure this man was like this poor son of a bitch, but I don't care. That's fucking hilarious to me. I, I man got out of breath reaching for the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Thank you, sir." No, um, but um, don't fucking laugh at your own joke that much, you fucking idiot, dude. You're so fucking stupid. Um, so uh, yeah, I think I, I I'm gonna say it, and I mean it. I think uh. McDonald's is the uh the best fast food not uh, no. uh, on a scale no. of flavor. No, Chipotle a, has to be the best fast. Get the fast food. fuck out of my life, you little bitch! I hate fucking Chipotle. I've had what it is once. Wrong with you? Me you or actually him? Actually, hate Chipotle. Uh, mostly the guy who said Chipotle is their favorite fast food. Here's the thing: I got a um. We Jesus started Christ. our friends. It was all, it was cool, but it was all <laughs> so I gotta find you a picture because I'm a lifelong McDonald's fan. By the way, I I, I I'll, I'll I'll put an asterisk to this by saying like, if I'm being genuinely serious, McDonald's is not my favorite fast food, but I'm a lifelong fan. There's there's a ridiculous photo of me where I got two like vintage as a kid. I got two vintage um, McDonald's like action figures that are in like mid condition yeah. uh, that I got for Christmas. And I have these like flame pants. I have this long, ridiculous haircut and I have this McDonald's t-shirt, which is billion served on it. Yeah. When I was um uh, like 12 years old, my mom, we were like, my mom gave me like $12 for my birthday or something. And I said, uh, can we just take this to McDonald's and get cheeseburgers? And she said, yes. And then she set up 12 cheeseburgers as a cake in a McDonald's with candles on it and lit it. And that's like a pretty yeah. iconic family picture of that's mine nice. and, then for, yeah, that's and then for my 21st birthday i recreated it and i got 21 hamburgers for my 21st birthday mm. that i ate mm-hmm. but like I, i'm i'm big in the mcdonald's it's always been a meme with like yeah. me my family my friends i 
I, I'm, a, I'm an investor in McDonald's. But, I have the app. I spend a, it's my first job. I own a ridiculous amount yeah. of, I, I just spent a ridiculous amount of money at McDonald's. I love but McDonald's. I still don't think it's like the best fast yeah, it's, food. It's my the family best. and I used to eat Sorry, ahead, breakfast like uh, every Saturday and Sunday. We, we used to go to McDonald's and order the hotcakes and hash browns and stuff. And we'd sit at those like plastic tables. I, I did yeah. McDonald's today, this morning. You did that, yeah. you did that which today? Is a pretty room. Yeah, I did eat McDonald's oh. today. Oh. Yeah, I was I, I was trying That's to. I, I woke up today. I woke up today and I was like, "Today's gonna be the day I'm gonna eat like mostly all right." And then I just I had like some time off work and I kind of was craving a McGriddle, <laughs> and so yeah. it's it early enough to still get one. And I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> so That's how it starts. You ha- you have like a bad food, and you're like, "Well," and it's not even like, for me. It's not even the thought of like, "Oh, I already had a bad food today," so it's an. It's just like it just you're the now gravitated. To, yeah, like, I could eat a strawberry, but like, what the fuck? I, I would, routines. I would, routines are very important. I don't mean to keep interrupting you, but like a lot of the people that I know that like talk to people about like that are like personal trainers and trying to get people into fitness, always talk about these super niche, crazy regimens and everything. Doesn't matter if you're not in the routine. The biggest thing you can do to better yourself for anything is start off with small steps that get your like something, ass, yeah, your ass in a habit or a routine. Yeah, this is a hack podcast. Yeah, so, there you yeah, go, Ben. Your last episode you're guru. Did again. Ben's um, habit is uh, pulling off in the parking lot of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> we love you, Ben. We love you. Yeah, you've a little fucking patronizing bitch. Um, <laughs> um, oh my god, what was I gonna say? Oh, I would love to have <laughs> like a McDonald's meme a- uh, episode where we try each other's because we all have McDonald's around us. I'm sure. Like I try Zach. This is the closest thing to me. Yeah, yeah. I try Zach's, and then uh, Zach, Zach tries Sean's, and then uh, Sean tries mine or whatever. But that doesn't work because Sean's a fucking stupid pussy ass alt left vegan racist. You stupid ass. You Are you really me. vegan? Yeah. So I, I, so I tr- I've been trying to like um, I I, I try to take like a couple days out of my week to like not eat meat. It's not vegan, but like I'll do like a vegetarian like couple days out of my week uh, don't I get me do on it. the topic of like like sustainable no, listen, listen, I, don't, I don't think i'm better than you i know i'm better than you i'm not saying that you are i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not saying that you are you're a fucking ton but like i just like for first of all it's expensive and kind of unhealthy for you to do every single day but then also i just like i was what? a uh, <laughs> what happened john this is, by the way you see these guns you see that shit that's most uh, dude, that's dude, mostly fucking weight. pumping iron dude. mostly fat dude i'll be honest with you Go ahead. Um, that's the Mick Riddles. <laughs> this is this is gonna fucking sound like the most pretentious thing I've ever said, but I was um, a bio, I was a microbiology major for a couple of years before I dropped out, and even before that, I was in like a weird like um, like semi college course in high school to do like biotechnology stuff, mm-hmm. and so like I was doing a lot of research in some of the, those those fields. And I just think like without getting too far into it, like the way that we farm and mass produce meat, not only is you can talk about ethics or whatever too, but that's, eh, who gives a fuck about how the cows feel? Yeah. I just don't think it's sustainable. Like, I just don't think like, like 50, when I, by the time I'm an old man, I think we'll have to seriously rethink the way that we like get our food. Uh, I don't think any of us are making it to 50 brother. I think, <laughs> yeah, let's go dude. I think society's collapsing much faster. Yeah, than dude. And we got, we got the war over there. It's probably, we're probably going to get killed this any day now. Right. Fuck I hope on that. so. Yeah. I'm, Change I'm the org, get killed tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, so, um, yeah, Sean just makes things like less fun because he just can't eat half the foods that we eat, you little bitch. Go to, dude. Go to the no, I usually just bring my own food. When I go over to Ben's, I just bring like a whole vegan pizza, a can of baked beans, some yeah. vegan hot dogs. Yeah, I just make my own shit. You know what Mike does? So we have we have a we have a buddy named Mike. I talked about him in the last episode, and I hope that at some point he would wouldn't mind. Uh, he's joining the one who talking. doesn't like apples. Too. He's the one who doesn't like apples. He would he brought to a party a party like a, like a, it was a kickback it wasn't like a fucking boom 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 but he, he brought to a kickback pickles and brownies dude pick, pickles no no i stand by mike 100 percent on that those are both good things i like brownies those but are like, both yeah, good things together. it's just a weird combination to bring to a party i mean i thought it was funny because it's mike but it's yeah, weird was, <laughs> brownies to a party makes sense i yeah. love pickles pickles dude i had yeah. like fucking two whole pickles yeah. today too so you know you know my diet i ate a mcgriddle and two pickles <laughs> today is is what, how, what i consumed and a you glass ever, of orange juice is is my diet today for some reason. Yeah, that's pretty. That's Coffee pretty, too. 
That was pretty terrible, actually. Um, do you remember when we started pouring barbecue <laughs> sauce on the tree and shit? Dude, we were a menace. You were a menace. I can't, I can't even say yeah. me. You were the one pouring uh, barbecue sauce on okay, shit. So there's something you have to know is that I'm actually a very terrible person, yeah, especially like true. in real life. Um, you can say I know, Zach. You can say it. You can say I know. There's a, there's a, <laughs> uh, the guy who used to be in the fr- <laughs> friend group. Yeah. And long story short, he was on his way out. I never disliked him, but he hated me. <laughs> and so I thought this was I thought this was very fun. Like this was very funny to me. Like he would like I join the call for like a game or something and he would just shit on me the entire time. Like I'd laugh and he would make fun of my laugh. I'd say something. He goes, is anyone talking? That kind of thing. He would like try and bully me, but it would just be funny. Uh, and so I was over his house and I just took you mean, this. There was a party at his house. There, there, wasn't <laughs> there was a party. Of, yeah, there was a party at his house. I don't remember who started it. I think it was me who started it. It was absolutely like, you who started it. <laughs> we're on his balcony, second floor, and I just take his barbecue sauce and just start pouring it onto his lawn. Just turn it over. It just starts... <laughs> start squeezing the bottle onto his lawn. <laughs> dude, it's so fucking funny because it's just like so much barbecue sauce went to waste on that lawn, dude. It's so fucking funny. That's such a funny. That's so stupid. And and, and he kept fucking. Sean just he, he did that, and then he just kept humping, uh, fucking couch and saying, yeah. "Did I used to do this in high school? You used to fuck a couch in high school? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Oh, so there are so many, many vegan beers deep for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Vegan beers. <laughs> oh, the only thing that I'm not worried about veganism for is beers. By the way, I was gonna say this earlier. I was gonna say this earlier, and it's gonna make me sound like a pretentious fucking hipster, but I like traveling and drinking beers more than cocktails because I feel like I can get the same cocktails anywhere, but like beers are always like produced yeah, like yeah. locally and you get to like try yeah. the local yeah. shit. I don't fucking know. I, I like Yeah, yeah, I agree. I like so trying new shit. I don't buy like Pabst Blue Ribbon or anything. I'll spend like seventeen dollars on a four pack of some like local. Like, I can't beer. get that anywhere near where I live. So if I ever yeah. traveled out to where you are, I'd be like, oh, I'd fucking love to try that because it's something yeah. you yeah. haven't had before. Although I go to a bar and get like another gin and tonic. It's like I've had this before. If if you do come to the East Coast, I have two lavalier microphones. I I'm not. One. I'm not. You have one. I have one. John has one. Okay, I have okay, one. Uh, Same one. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm not saying that we should go to the shittiest city on the planet and make a podcast because it's funny. If we were to meet up and do and do something in person, I do think going to the shittiest place I possible know. would be would be fun. I know, okay, just to go, go to like Central go to Park Bloomfield, or something. Bloomfield, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, get robbed. I'm so sorry. I totally cut into what you guys were talking about. What the fuck were you guys talking about? Beer. It's okay. Cut uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Um, yeah. I. So I. But the uh, personally. Uh. I don't like alcohol, most of it. I'm I'm a very much a gen, um, person that is very genuine. Entrified. I don't yeah. I don't enjoy the feeling of being. I've only ever been tipsy. I've never been drunk, and I don't really enjoy that feeling at all. It's not a, a feeling that I like. And I, when I look back and think about it, I don't like like the thought of me being tipsy. I, it's just not something I, I vibe with, and I don't generally just like the taste of most alcohols. So if you were to ask me my favorite my my go to drink, it would be some bitch beer. That's my answer. Like a Mike's hard or like, a, you know, like one of those Bud Light Seltzers. I used to get in college. I used to get roasted on Mike's hard lemonades. We'd buy a six, like we'd buy, yeah, we'd buy a bunch. Um, <laughs> and me and my roommate would play uh, Mario baseball and we were both mm-hmm. really good at Mario superstar baseball. So it would be zero, 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 zero the whole way. And we would just go drinking like every inning until one of us like, cause what it would be is you'd be in overtime or the game would end. You'd start a new game. But generally, you'd make it to overtime with zero points. So then the person at the, the bottom of the inning, if they scored, it was over. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was just, it, so it was just that was fun. Like, it's fun. How cringe would it be? I think the answer is quite cringe. I Because I don't want to, like, I, I would think, like, playing some, like, retro game would be fun with you guys. But... I don't want to do like a normal style. Let's play is just so boring to me at this point. Like I can't watch let's plays. I can genuinely say I don't consume any video game content these days. Dude, Madden 20, 2022 and Halo Infinite. I saw you playing the other day, dude. Don't fucking lie to me. No, brother. I can cons- I play I play video games. Oh, you don't, I don't, you don't watch, watch I don't watch any YouTube content yeah. on 
yeah. video games. I do. Uh, I do. Uh, I mean, like I, I, I very niche stuff, stuff that, you know, like I used to watch Achievement Hunter all the time. And that was just a bunch I of dudes. I used to be yeah. into Achievement Hunter and like Funhouse and everything. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, met Funhouse in person. Technically. RTX, right? Oh, him? Yeah. You met the one met Fun House? Fun, Fun House? I when I when it's first of all, it's so crazy. Mr. That, House. Yeah, Mr. House himself. Uh-huh. Um, I met Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, I get naked in in the office uh in Bruce? person. You no, met Adam you met Ben's dad? Uh, oh, that dad, I guess that yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, my dad is <laughs> so dumb. Um, it's so crazy to me that we went to oh. the same RTX and never saw each other once. You went to 2016. 16? Yeah, I was yeah. at 2016. Yeah. That's fucking insane to me. Yeah, it's so crazy yeah, that me, I wasn't me, invited at all. Me, me, Ethan, <laughs> Ty, me, Ethan, Ty, and the great Isaiah all went to RTX 2016 together. It's so crazy. Did you see? The, you know, the, you remember the, the Spartans meme that they weren't going like this, whatever? Remember that? I vaguely remember something like that. That yeah. was, I watched those people walk by and I saw the camera guy walk by and that, that meme went fucking viral for like two weeks. I, I hate yeah. shit like that. Yeah, it bothered the I shit. Don't I, I, just, I don't know if I'm just like a fuddy-duddy dude, a hullabaloo fuddy-duddy, but like, I, um, Check your face I, this really, guy. I really don't find stuff that are like very pop, co- like if it's, it can be too pop. Like I'm with a, you where like I like things that are popular sure but there's a certain level things can get popular where it's just I'm 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 going to be stubborn yeah, forever and like never for, for instance it. for instance I cannot tolerate like frozen metal cover or something like I just it, no. it like I get sent videos cuz I I have friends who like tangentially like metal but they like the the YouTuber the singer or whatever and they're like oh Sean you know, this guy covered Frozen, but it's like black metal. And I, I like a bunch of like fringe metal genres and yeah. stuff. And I just, I can't fucking, well, I can't tolerate it. The problem, I, I, I don't know the theory, but apparently the theory is that we're living in an an ironic period. Is that what it's called? Where memes have to have a level of irony to them to be funny. Like Nyan Cat, that was a period where it didn't have to be ironic. It was just a funny because it was a meme. But at this point, we have to, there has to be like a second layer above the so funny that you have to be the meta meme yeah, yeah has to be meta meme. the post post irony i think like yeah. uh, you have uh, to get two, in the morbid time type meme. have you yeah. heard of yeah, uh, zach you probably know this better than ben would know um the youtube channel um oh shit um it's me he's talking about me he's talking about you dude he's talking about me dude <laughs> Those little Clementine bitches. Yeah, they love getting get in my fucking get belly, dude. Me, dude. Get my, oh yeah, it was belly. Get yeah, in my belly. fucking belly. Either dude. either term Holy is funny. Shit. I can't. I remember the the name of it. You little uh, dumbass. I'm sorry. It's trying to have been so toxic to oh, you. J Rag Dreg. Oh, you heard I, of, this, this this name sounds very familiar. J R E G. He does like absurdist uh, political humor, where oh. like he just takes on the aspect of whichever. Like he'll he'll like. Oh, like the alt left vegan racist thing. He'll make up something like yeah, that. Yeah. He'll do like uh, like neo fascist post capital or something like that. And mm. he'll like he'll he'll get dressed up and do like green screen effects and stuff like that. I I find his shit like because he's very post irony. He's very mm. like like one of the things that he's constantly saying in his videos. He's like, I want all the opinions. I don't like I'm mm. anti centrist. Mm-hmm. I want everything but the center because mm. center is boring kind of thing. Uh, I, I'm a huge like absurdist slash post irony kind of consumer. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think like I think absurdist that's, philosophy. I think that's why like the the like the bunger meme you didn't like it when we were we kept saying fucking yeah. bunger and posting bunger. It's just because it's like surface level funny. It's not post like it's not. I mean, it is I- ironic, but it, if it's, it's especially if you're not more, filled in on it. Yeah, right, right, and it would only be absurdist if it became like you're wearing a costume or something and it's like, yeah. and it's actually, so like I have this sense where I, I don't find it funny, but what I do find funny is how annoyed I get by it because it does yeah. piss me. Like yeah. the bunger thing is annoying as shit. Yeah. yeah. And so sometimes like in the moment I'm very like, Jesus Christ, another fucking bunger. Yeah. But like, I'll be on a walk and I'm like, John, you're such a piece of shit. Yeah. You know I mean? It's like, funny it's though. It's just, funny. It's just a joke. And I'll just yeah. start laughing at myself yeah. for being pissed off that you like something. Yeah. So, uh, dude, like, for, let me ask, uh, Zach, are you familiar with Bunger? No. Oh, beautiful. Bug snacks, do you, do you, are you familiar with Bug Snacks? 
Okay, so uh, I play on Xbox, not on PlayStation, but I remember at E3 when Bug Snacks was announced and that fucking Caro Caro Bonito song yep. about mm-hmm. Bug Snacks mm-hmm. came out. And I remember thinking, like, that's a banger song, but it's a cute game, but I'll never play it. Okay. Um, you are correct. It, I know, it's a, I know it's about a, Bug Snacks and I know about Caro Caro Bonito's cover of Bug so Snacks. I don't know what Bunger is, Bung- though. <laughs> Bunger is just the, the hamburger snack that you can catch. Because every, you know, it's, it's okay. a. It's a, you know, they're just bugs that are made of food. It's just, it's just a hamburger, but it goes bunger, 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 bunger. That's how it sounds. And it's really funny. And I, 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 I it's not funny. It's everybody, everybody finds <laughs> well, it funny, but Sean. It's pretty, I have it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that's everybody funny. Everybody yeah. have find it funny from, <laughs> other than Sean, which makes it even funnier. <laughs> yeah. Um, But I will just say, uh, Bug Snacks, I think did just come out on Xbox. Uh, did, yeah. Seven out of 10, 30 bucks. If that's not worth it to you. Don't play it. Um, okay. Uh, but I do, I like the idea of bug snacks much more than I actually enjoy the game. I, I will say that I do. I do like the game, but the, the idea is more to me. Um, but on the topic of games, I want to switch over. Jesus Christ. Segue. Very smart and incredible segue that I'm doing right now. Woo. Um, Get out everyone. Did you, see, coming through. did you see any of the new, uh, the Sonic or the Pokemon thing happened this week, uh, Zach. No, neither. Yeah, neither. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I might care more about Sonic than Pokemon, but I still don't give a fuck about Sonic. I'm sorry, uh, Sean. You saw both of them, right? Uh, sure. Okay, so Sonic is releasing an open world Favorite game. Apple. Yeah, Sonic is okay. releasing an open world game, and the idea of Sonic and being in an open world is really cool. But the trailer, fucking cute ass cat. Uh, no, he's the tra- the trailer, uh, the gameplay trailer, kind of looked very stiff and like very asset driven. Like it looked just like it was a bunch Ooh. of like Unity was assets. This clip that I saw where it looked like someone walking through fucking um, what was that fucking game? What was that weird Kojima game that came out? Death Stranding with Norman Reedus. Yeah, it was like looked like Sonic was yeah. running through Death Stranding. Kind Is of, that yeah. real? Kind of. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm, I'm just a uh, quick uh, interject. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon. Yeah, did you, I want you to leave. Can we get a can we get a good night in chat, please? Yeah, can we can get a good night? Good night going. All right, oh, he's, well, there he goes. He, he actually left. Yeah, he's. I don't know. That was anticlimactic. He said, "I said I have to go to bed soon," and then he went to bed immediately. And I think that's just kind of fucked up. But um, so yeah, but Sonic Frontiers. It looked like it was going to be, uh, you know, everyone's hoping that open world Sonic game. That sounds really cool. Open world games are pretty cool, uh, and it looks just like very acid driven and weird. Uh, I'm still going to play it because I have a buddy that I play Sonic games with, even, whether they're bad or good, just because it's funny. Um, and then Pokemon. I'm a very huge Pokemon fan. They announced Pokemon for I don't know if you even have a switch. They announced Pokemon for the switch. I do have a switch. Yeah, uh, they announced uh, or they didn't announce it. Sorry. They had a trailer for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, it looks much better than uh, any other game prior. And it has four player simultaneous co-op. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't fuck it or Pokemon company and Game Freak don't fuck it up. They probably will because it's Nintendo, uh, the Pokemon company and Game Freak. But those are two things that happened. But if you ha- haven't watched them, not much else to say. I was I was hoping for an opinion, but honestly, I think I, I apologize. No, I, I follow I follow video games at like a 25 percent level where yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm interested in the stuff that rises into my how, how do I how do I phrase this? Because it's not even like the top twenty five percent of things that are popular. Because it's not necessarily that yeah, too. Just, like me and my you, friends play niche. like grounded and shit like that. But yeah. like, you know, whatever kind of falls into my purview, I'm like that seems interesting to me. That gets put in that category. But the other seventy five percent of shit, I'm just tuned out to. Yeah, I. So yeah, I mean, I, I for I'm I just wanted to say I'm very excited for both. Obviously, huge Pokemon fan. The game looks like it could be really fun. Especially I'm gonna I'm getting both copies and I'm playing one with Alexis, one on my own. Um. Because I always do that, uh, if I can. Um, and Sonic, I'm going to be playing with my buddy Brian, who again I hope you meet because he's awesome. Um, that game is going to be probably trash because it is a Sonic game. Um, I if if it isn't clear, What's the I last like, good Sonic game. I think people liked Color. Maybe Generations was it just like 2011. <laughs> oh, so Sonic Media, Sonic Mania. People what like Sonic was that Mania. fucking Sonic game back when I was younger where like Sonic was a werewolf? Sonic Unleashed. That's yeah. the next game um, Brian and I are playing, actually. It's apparently Very really fun. good. and uh, it's, it's good, not really good. It's good until you get to the werewolf parts and the werewolf parts are just trash. 
So they could, if they just removed that, it would have been a fine game. <laughs> um, you couldn't sell it if it was no right. Exactly. It, it just no, not marketable exactly. if there's not a fucking little wear boy. Exactly, little wear boy. Um, but yeah, wear boy, wear boy. Um, yeah. So I, 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 my taste in games is games that I can com- very quickly and very mindlessly play. I mean, Halo is similar and different in the same way. Handbox, uh, Halo is very sandboxy and like very open, and you know you can use that environment in a in a in a in a in a very cool way but like besides halo i'm playing fucking nintendo like pokemon i'm playing i've been playing luigi's mansion for the past like three or four days just just you know mindlessly playing it yeah i'm very like very dumb i've been playing elden ring i don't know if you've seen my status on discord i've been playing elden ring and I don't play that alone. I I, I play with somebody because I, I just can't be fucked to get into a game and actually have to think without someone's help. Truthfully. Yeah, I again, Halo is just because I'm a fucking Halo nerd. And then again, the thing about Madden is it's not that it's like my favorite game ever, but like the thing about Madden is once you know people that play it, they get you wrapped up in a league and it's like no one else can play the game until you play your game. And mm-hmm. I'm in a league with my dad and a league with my other my other friend. And so it's like when Halo's not consuming my time, it's like, shit, I got to play the game. Otherwise, I get yelled at by a group of other people yeah. who all of a sudden can't play the game that they enjoy yeah. because I need to play my game. Yeah. Um, again, every now and then I'll get I, I say roped into getting playing grounded. That's not true. I kind of like grounded. I just get bored with it. Um, That's not when you're, yeah. you're like walking through the grass and you got like the bugs. It's and the shit, other right? bug game that came out. Yeah. The year Bugs yeah. Next came out yeah. and there were two bu- two competing bug games. That game's not that good, is it? It's good. I th- I thought I, had, I personally get a little bit thing. tired of it compared to my friends who like it more, but I still think it's a good game. I, I maybe it was the launch, but I remember having hearing like a lukewarm reception, buggy. literally buggy? and figuratively. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's another one. Cut that, please. Um, no, <laughs> no, just you got to do you got to do the but um yeah, yeah, yeah. to like to like all of it. It's like the laugh um, track. What was I gonna say? I'm sure I'm playing other games too, but like, I don't know, just video games don't, it, it's a combination of things. Video games don't interest me as much as they used to. Number one, number two, the video game industry kind of fucking blows and like the way the True. games are released now. And like, it's just not like, it, it's just a combination of those two things. Really. It's how games are done compared to my interest in video games waning. I still play video games and I always will. And I'll always keep my eye out for new and interesting things, but it's like, Compared to other people I know, it's certainly less so, so part of my life. I, I I mean I to be very real with you, um, I consume so much content, video content. Like if I'm if I'm working, I'm watching YouTube. If I am hanging out with uh, Alexis, I'm watching probably anime. Or we've recently be getting into the Marvel movies. Guilty of doom scrolling social media is how I spend most of my time, unfortunately. Yeah, and I, do, I can't even watch TikTok. TikTok bore the shit out of me. I'll be real with you. That shit bores me the, the fuck opposite. out of they me. Keep, they, TikToks keep me in a fucking dopamine feedback <laughs> loop. I get stuck. You I'll gotta be really like, get okay, this is, for you, page. No, I've cultivated the most bizarre, uh, wacky ass. I'll, I'll just start posting some TikToks please, I find in the fucking please. I mean, uh, like I told chat. you, I want an intermission, and having like a fucking goofy ass TikTok as an intermission would be great. Fuck the copyright yeah. holder. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 maybe maybe we'll do a thing. I've always loved video. I've always loved shows and podcasts where it's like people reacting to wild shit on the internet or shows where they interact with the callers, where either it's like a call in show or they're reacting to like wild shit i wouldn't have seen on the internet mm. otherwise yeah um we'll talk about that more in depth um but but yeah like i'll, I'll do this thing where i'm like uh oh, just one more video and then i'll watch the video i'm like oh maybe one more and then yeah. i'll watch it and yeah, then that's, like that's 20 minutes loop. go by and i'm like fuck alexis has fuck. been using tiktok for the last four years like nonstop. i am not the same way i used it for the first year i was like oh this is pretty funny and then i started getting animal abuse on my for you page, I'm like, what the fuck? And, and then, on YouTube, I got in this weird loop where I got in the monkey abuse on YouTube of people yeah. keeping monkeys in cages and prying yeah. them and shit. And I was like, I did not fucking, I was like, yeah. I, did, I swear to fucking God, I did not I, I, search out ways to find this shit. I, I had Alexis help me uh, make a better for you page because I was just like, I don't want to be on, I don't want to watch a fucking dog. I was like, I watched like a dog try to get uh, get out of a house that was burning. He was like half on fire. And I'm like, I don't want to watch that. So. TikTok does this thing where like they fucking just like they 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 try to they 
they know what you kind of look at and they give you more and more and more of that. But they also try to be ahead of the curve and be like, he might like this and just throw one in there just yeah. to see how you like it. And there was this fucking dude who was like, it's TikTok live, which TikTok live is even worse because people like they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. And there's no checks for it. This dude just eating dog. Yeah. Like, like with the, the head is still on with all the fur and everything. Yeah. Just eating dog. I get it. It's a culture thing. I'm just not used to it. Indian folks over in India would hate me for eating cow. I get yeah, it. Yeah. But I was not expecting that to come across my page and to see a dog carcass being eaten out of yeah. by a man was just not not particularly yeah. what I wanted to see that. Yeah. Which on an even further tangent is, you know, I after that, subsequently, I looked up the countries in which dog are consumed and it's China, Korea, and for some reason, Switzerland. That's crazy. I fucking fact Con- check me if you want to. It's fucking China, Wait. Korea, and Switzerland they, are the they three can, countries that eat dog. They can eat it, or they do eat it. They do eat it. Weird. I know. Again, Next time fucking, I go to Switzerland I, I, and get veal, I'm gonna assume that it's just a fucking dog. Now, veal's fucking tasty. I've never dude. had veal. I, I feel too bad for baby cow, but that's not the reason. I, I feel I, bad I for. I accidentally. So I've I've never eaten it like intentionally, but as a kid. Um, it was given to me and I said, this is delicious. What is this? And I was told it was veal. So, but it was delicious. Genuinely. Uh, TikTok though. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I, I was going to say, I consume too much video content, right? Me too. And I need to do something interactive. I have trichotillomania, which is and at the, I have a bold spot. That's why I went, I had to pull, shave my hair off because I, I'll just pick my hair endlessly. So if I have nothing to do with my hands, when I'm working, it's not a problem. I'm always doing stuff with my hands. But if, if I don't have anything to do with my hands, I'm picking up my hair. So I have to be playing something, even if I'm watching something mm. like after work. So that's why I okay. continue playing. I, I always, you know, it's it's not, I, I enjoy a lot of the games, most of the games that I play. I like video games. Yeah. It's just not yeah. like. I, I, yeah. I, I also need, need at least some sort of AFK game. Like I've been playing Pokemon Sapphire. Like Sean and I have this really cool thing where uh, we call it a piss lock. Um, where uh, every before right before every gym we trade three Pokemon, and we were I've been playing Sapphire, he's been playing Ruby, and we just been doing that, which is really fun. But I need that something like that to so I don't pull, fucking rip my my hair. I mean I don't know if you can see, even see it. I've I mean yeah it's 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 just thinning. The, the, yeah, but, yeah. I mean my, my last last podcast my hair was fucking big. I can only <laughs> have it big for so long until I start pulling it out again. So. Um, and that's I have weird ticks that ruin my body too, but thankfully yeah. nothing with my hair. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think truthfully that's why I don't really like. Look at I'm wearing these like weird like African style fucking pants and a cow chop shirt with my fucking belly out, dude. I don't give a shit about. Fucking I don't give a shit showing. about like the uh, the whole appearance thing. I mean, I don't think I can, you know, given I get fucking bald spots every other week. But um, uh, but I, I, like, point is, I need video games to like get my brain working my my job does not get my brain working the videos i watch does not get my brain working and i wouldn't really want them to honestly i I try to turn my brain off when i'm watching the videos games are just are all that can do it for me you need to get that fucking ball on a cup dude those little fidget spinning activities yeah um but yeah i i uh i'm excited for pokemon i'm a huge pokemon fan you want to see i'm happy for you i gotta i got something to show you and I'll I'll record this for uh, I'll do a screen record for uh, the the video. Um, All right, so I Pokemon Home is where you uh, can transfer a bunch of your Pokemon into a like a bank type thing, right? Mm-hmm. So I want to show you all the level one hundred Pokemon I have, which is highest level. Okay, I can I can the grind the grind right, and this is just in the past. Four or five years. I mean, I don't I don't play like a crazy amount, but like these are all level 100. This is Pokemon Go? This is Pokemon Home. Oh, Home. Okay. This is like, but all those are level 100. And that's, and I've, these are all playing the game once. Like I've played every game once. I just fucking love those games that just like give you those goals to grind out. I know. It's, it's super rad. Um, I play a lot of Pokemon. I'm really excited for... Uh, Scarlet and Violet. I'm excited to have a new game to play with Alexis because uh, uh, honestly, she doesn't like many games. So when it, when we find a game that we can play together, it's actually really fun. Um, Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, and there was one other thing before we end. I was there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. 
honestly, fuck Sean, right? Fuck that kid. Who cares? Okay. What we should do, you and me, we should just get each other's uh, for next podcast or whatever. We should get each other's McDonald's order and just eat it yeah, and see, and see how shit our tastes are. Well, I mean, there's not a whole lot of variation to McDonald's, but I'm still down. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I I, I would agree. I mean, it's just going to be eating it. Be like, okay, it's be like, like, well, like, what is your McDonald's yeah, menu yeah. item? Is yeah. it also chicken nuggets and a burger? Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I think that'd be fun. That'd be a fun little meme. I, I was thinking of just now. I'm just spitballing. I don't. I don't. I don't think I have anything else to do other than spitball. My brain is pretty much fried for the day. Um, are tier lists cringe yet? I, I, I've always, ne- I never really, cringe? En- tier lists, I've never really enjoyed them myself. Uh, I don't think they're, I don't think they're cringe. I don't think they're as popular as they used to be. I don't think they're cringe though. Is it worth doing one for content? Yeah, absolutely. What, what kind of, what, what tier list for what? Um, I don't know. When we talked about water, I was thinking water, but I don't know if that's even I'm not the most well-versed in water. I can tell you Dasani's towards the bottom from what I hear and Evian is towards the top. Well, I, uh, I'm not saying water specifically, but th- like that, that made me think of like, oh, you do tier list for something probably. I mean, sure. well, last time McDonald's I said Apple menu, tier dude. list, but you also don't. Yeah, McDonald's menu tier list. Uh, fucking. The McDonald's cheeseburger is a weird one. Yeah. Because it's not like a real cheeseburger. It's not like a good quality. I'm from the fucking dark. Like a good quality meal. But like at the same time, too. I got you, bro. It's I got pretty, you. I, it's pretty iconic. There you go. Oh, I got you, bro. Hey, I'm all hey, right. the McDonald's cheeseburger is a pretty iconic cheeseburger. Yeah. I had I this argument with Subway. We're like, I could make a Subway sandwich at home. Perfectly fine. There's not a unique taste to a Subway sandwich. Now, at I don't home, agree. I, I, oh, I, I agree that you can make yourself. one at home, but I don't I, I don't agree that there's not a unique taste to it. I think Subway sandwiches have have I don't I think it's something in the bread. I think I feel like it's like some sort of drug. <laughs> maybe uh, i have a whole rant on subways that i'll, I'll save for another episode but yeah. like the, the subway sandwich is a like it, it's it's deli meat on bread it's something that honestly i feel like i could probably replicate pretty damn close at home yeah, yeah. if i'm craving a subway sandwich i could probably satisfy that craving mm. with another sandwich mm. mcdonald's cheeseburgers are not good but when i'm craving them I can't just make a cheeseburger, right? I can make a better cheeseburger at home handedly pretty easily. But if I'm craving the McDonald's cheeseburger, I can't just make a McDonald's cheeseburger at home. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I mean, McDonald's cheeseburgers are made of horse, aren't they? So, I mean, like you're not going to get horse meat. Something like that. They're made of, yeah. They Um, import from France. Where is the best place to get burgers in your opinion? Just period. Not not capping it at like fast food. Yeah, fast food is included or or yeah. No, 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 no. Is this just fast food? Because no, I feel no, like anywhere. Saying, what's the a home? What's even. the best place to get burgers? It's like I'm listing some local place. Actually, what's funny? The best burger I've ever had was in the Phoenix airport, and then they took the place out, and I have no clue how I could ever find it again. Yeah, don't remember its name. Um, it's off the top of my head. I, I Five Guys is pretty up there, but it's expensive. I was going to say Five Guys is like the best fast food burger. Yeah, is that really fast food though? At that price, is that really fast food? I feel like the price. I wouldn't include price if it would. I mean, it comes out fast. That would be my would. That would be I my guess. indicator for fast. Food. National chain thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, I just took Ethan before he left out here to uh, a local place near me. Shout out Rustler's Roost is like a kind of a, a bit of a hokey. It's like on top of a mountain, so it has a gorgeous view. Mm. Um. They serve rattlesnakes. They were out of rattlesnakes. That's the whole reason why I went there is because I was like, you're in Arizona. That I'm going to buy you a fucking rattlesnake to yeah, eat. And they were yeah, out yeah. fuckers. Yeah. Um, but they get like, um, like really good, like fry bread. And they, they, they like grind their own meat in house and stuff for the burgers. And they're fucking thick on burgers. I don't know if that's my favorite burger ever, but um, it's up there. Yeah. I, I will say though, I know you're going to answer this, but <laughs> really quick. We had, a, we, we were waiting for a food at this place earlier in the week, not to make this go on longer than it needs to be. And the waiter comes out. Well, what we think is the waiter. this guy comes out with all of our food on a platter with like all done up and everything sets it on a different table and says, your food, your waiter will be out here momentarily and walks away. And me and Ethan were both like, the guy just did all the work. Mm-hmm. He, he came out here. 
he prepared all the food, put it on the platter, r- r- walked it all the way out here and just put it somewhere where we couldn't get to it in front of us and said, someone else will be here to yeah. bring this for you. And yeah. then we waited like 10 minutes with the food over there. We were, I was fucking crying, dude. Yeah. I never had service like that in my life. Mm. <laughs> it's just, I just, well, yeah. fucking why? You're right. I know. I, uh, but shout out to that place. Yeah. <laughs> they have a slide. We went, we got drunk and went down the slide. That's sick. This is recent. Yeah. You said this is like a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, I, 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 I should have specified more like what ge- uh, genre of, I don't know if that's the right term. What genre of place sells the correct burgers? I mean, that, that, that would have been it. Okay. My opinion. The genre of place sells the correct <laughs> you'll, burger. You'll get. What did I say? You said what genre of place sells the correct burgers. That's so fucking dumb. I, <laughs> I, I What I meant to say <laughs> was the, the, what genre of place sells the best burgers. I don't know why the fuck I said correct burgers. But <laughs> I was um, like, I'm getting quizzed, dude. The, <laughs> the bars I always have the best burgers. Fat bar burgers. Bar none. I can get behind that. It's like uh, some people stand behind bar pizza as a as a as a thing. Yeah, bar pizza is um, pretty good. I, I I mean, it's not top, but you live in Connecticut. You live near some of the best pizza in the world. People think New Haven, Connecticut, is like pizza capital of the yeah, world. Yeah, but they, the way they cut their pizza is pizza? fucking psychotic. Do you know? Do you know how? I gotta I gotta come out and visit. I I, I also tried that uh, that when I was last time I was in Connecticut that Louis Lunch Place, supposedly the home of the original hamburger or whatever yeah i ate there once no i uh yeah no so okay so new haven but new haven pizza they cut the long way so they like they make a circle one line here and then they cut it like this so there's like pieces that are like this long and this thin what the fuck first of all second of all it's phenomenal though it is, i really want to go i had pizza that i looked at and i was like this looks like shit this looks like fucking garbage like this looks like some mozzarella on some sauce and that's it like not even like melted it was phenomenal what the fuck? And then, um, uh, not in not in New Haven, closer by where I live. Um, there's this place that my dad used to go to when he was a kid. It's it's mm. that old. Best pizza I've ever had. Period. Bar none. I like buffalo flavor for in every, all. You know, if I can get buffalo flavor in something, I will get it. Their buffalo chicken pizza, unbeatable. Best pizza you can get in can that I've ever had in my life. I mean, it's also Connecticut Not pizza. Of the buffalo sauce, but yeah, it, I, I I might just be a Connecticut thing, you know, because like I've, I've I don't also think buffalo had, sauce is a Connecticut thing, but yeah. No, I know. I mean, I mean, like my 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 bar for pizza is pretty low because I'm mm. in Connecticut, but I mean, well, I guess New Haven, but um, we went to me, Alexis, and one of our buddies, uh, Barney. We went to Hoboken, New Jersey, and got pizza there, thinking New Jersey pizza is probably just like. New York pizza. Eh. Eh. It was good, but eh. I mean, it wasn't like anything special. Did do you watch uh do you watch Off Canny? Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. It was the uh, it's the it's the Cow Chop guys. They uh it was oh, J- Jacob oh. and Alec from Cow Chop made it and it um but the, it's my favorite channel on YouTube right at this point ever. Like they 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 upload once every like six months, they upload four times every uh, once every six months. But um, they went to New York for an episode where tr- uh, Trevor from Cowtrap got drunk and he was just walking around like interviewing people in New York. And they went to get pizza because they heard it was really good. And it was just like a fucking slop and it was trash. Every experience I've had with New York pizza is the same exact way. Just garbage. I, I, I tell you, New York, worst place it's on earth. It's meant to be cheap, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess. Thing. I guess. I don't know. Um, I got to say, though. I don't know if you're actually down for this or if it's just a funny idea from like a, from like a third person perspective. But if I gathered my two labs up and we go and we just, even just on like, I have a 4k camera in this phone. I don't have a good, ca- I have a, I have a DSLR, but it's trash. Um, I have a 4k camera in this phone. I have friends that have the same exact phone. So it'll look the same. So it won't be like jarring to multicam dude, having a podcast in like central park where there's just garbage on the floor and fucking rats 
would be so cool. Am I wrong? It would be funny. I don't know what the like restrictions are with filming in like Central Park specifically. You know what but like, yeah, no. You know what we do? Hmm? You know what we do if if they're like don't you can't film here we we walk and we film the entire way I feel like that would be great content like just film walking in the back by of the squad car. yeah like, or like <laughs> filming like just b- piles of garbage with fucking mice all over it and shit that'd be fucking hilarious dude yeah it takes some planning on my part but I'm absolutely down that, um, I think it'd be so funny if if I'm able to make that work yeah yeah um I'll I'll, I'll hire some cameramen and by hire mm-hmm. I mean for free buying mcdonald's te- yeah, for my yeah, friends exactly. for spending the day too so, yeah when you were in school did you have friends that would like take make use of your editing and in media skill not particularly so like when i was in high school i was doing our youtube thing with like halo machinimas and whatever and that was like just solely for me yeah and i was nervous to talk about it and then when i went to like actual university for a year or two i kind of stopped doing all of that stuff to focus on microbiology and also doing real drugs yeah. <laughs> it was, was kind of what i was more yeah. focused on yeah. and then um and then i had uh stopped that uh, dropped out of school you know i worked for a couple companies here and there just doing some bullshit and then i just kind of picked it back up again like I was like, okay, I want to take this seriously. And actually I have, a, I have kind of a, an interesting story. I don't know if I have the most time to get into in full here, but I had gotten a job. <laughs> I got a job interview in this place in downtown Phoenix, in like this penthouse area. I got all dressed up in a suit and I drove all the way down to downtown Phoenix, went all the way up in this penthouse, shook hands, kissed babies, you know, the deal. Yeah. As and, you do. um, get in the back with a job interviewer who pulls up my portfolio and promptly starts playing Halo machine. Of- <laughs> That's not real. That's <laughs> not real. Case. That's totally real. That totally happened. Um, and, um, you know, it's like, you know, if it was just like a actual, another editor that I was talking to, I probably could have talked about like the technical stuff that I was doing and got some kind of, foot in yeah but the fact that this is just some hr lady some, yeah, some i was exactly. about to call her some blonde bimbo but that's unfair <laughs> she's a very educated and yeah. well-spoken yeah. hr professional yeah. she just doesn't understand the minutia of YouTube video editing stuff, yeah. exactly she was just like yeah no thank you and so that was the point where i was like okay well maybe now i need to take this more seriously and do stuff outside of like yeah bullshit video game content if i'm gonna get a job and I, I was young enough, even though I didn't go to ASU, but I lived in the area and started networking with like people that did short films in ASU and got some help there. And eventually I made actually what's funny is I made this YouTube video. You can find it on my channel a long time ago as to like how to do some like Snapchat filter or something. Yeah, I, I, I mean, fu- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone actually emailed me from that video. They found my email, reached out to me and they said, hey, we really like how you did this and your process and everything. Are you open to freelance opportunities? I said, yes, I did like three videos for some of their like influencers. Um, they paid me like $200 for like 200 hours of I went work. On, so like, I went on your, it's not very good. I went on your website because you talked about it last that time. It needs to be updated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I saw like a bunch of stuff that you had done. I'm like, this shit looks real. Like actually like, in, like I don't want to say industry standard because that, that might sound cringe, but like it looked really good. It, it is these days. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Actually, I, I do need to update that. Well, the, my current job I work now, I'm not really doing as much video stuff as I'd care to, but I still want to be doing stuff on the side. Yeah. But there's a project for some company that just came out like a week or two ago um, that was pretty good. There's a few things that need to be updated on there, a few projects. Yeah. I mean, no. I, I, dude, at least you have a website. That's, I mean, <laughs> I, I got or, that. <laughs> I'll tell you I what. Actually, I actually, um, not to like, it feels weird bragging about this because how I got let go bit. from my from my last couple. Yeah. Well, no, it was just that the last job that I did this under contract for, I got fired from. So it sounds um, yeah. it sounds it's shitty to, to flex yeah. about it. But yeah. do, do you know the company One uh, Eight Hundred Flowers? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did work for them for my last. Oh, that job. was that, that was your last thing. Yeah. Well, the last thing I did came out like uh, that was for myself. I got my own opportunity to do like some freelancing thing, which I got paid very adequately for. In fact, mm-hmm. maybe a little too adequately for. Um, that came out like a week or two ago, but the one hundred flowers thing, I need to put on the website. I need to put a bunch of shit on the website. Is the point? You know, it's funny. Still. We're we're kind of associates because uh, for uh, what was what the fuck Valentine's Day? I got Alexis some flowers from one eight hundred flowers. So we're kind of like there we go. Kind of associates there here. We go. Um, there I don't know if that's go. the right term. Is associate the right term? Probably not. 
Yeah, sure. Um, Why not? Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's the part of me that's like, I would want to be in the industry because I want to make money for my passion because I love, I love the idea of editing and I love having a vision and knowing and trying to like figure that out. I'm also working in Sony Vegas. Um, so that, I mean that there's, there's a lot of crutches, you know, not crutches, but like, uh, what are they called? The things that you jump over on the track hurdles. There's a lot of hurdles when you're yeah. when going from vision to final product with Vegas. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be creatively fulfilled doing something that isn't my vision. Cause I'm sure in your situation that it wasn't really that creatively fulfilling. Cause they were just like, Oh yeah, it needs to be like this, this and that. Right. It entirely depends on the project. So yeah. like some people would come in and have very clear expectations for what, now to be fair, it's like, none of it is like, Hey, make a project. You know what I mean? So like, it's always doing someone else's thing, but you know, sometimes it's a very rigid vision or script that needs to get executed to like this very detailed thing. And then, you know, sometimes they were just like, Hey, we just filmed this thing, do whatever you want with it. That's and then gotta from be that the point, best. I'm, yeah, no, that's awesome. And then I'm going back and forth with people uh, and, you know, and the expectations are so low there too, that when I'm doing like custom animations and shit, it like blows them away. Yeah. Um, and then like I was doing, I was also like, working on the podcast for my last boss too. And I would go in these meetings with like uh, graphic designers and stuff like that. And got to like brainstorm ideas and direct people, other people to do things too, which was kind of, kind of neat, yeah, but I don't really do any of that anymore. At my new job, it's still like marketing stuff, but like, yeah. not like, not like in media, but yeah. again, I'm doing other things on the side too. So I don't fucking yeah. know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm this being one of them, I yeah, guess. Yeah. I'm like, this is the kind of shit that I like. This is my bread and butter. Like I can, I'm gonna we're gonna have like two hours and change of 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 footage that I that you know a lot of it's just the raw footage or some backdrop, but I can throw in an edit, and I can do whatever the fuck I want to like to a you know so, social degree. You know I can't just throw drop just a bunch of n words in the middle of like an, an intermission. Obviously I can't do that, but um that's my light dying on me. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is it. This is what you get. Yeah. Well, dude, here. Got you. Got you. I don't like to do the bit again. Um, uh, just, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I don't know if I'd actually want to be in the industry. Like, I do videos for my current job just for, for training purposes. And it's just like a little team of us. But that's just like the, a side part of my job. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It, I, it, it, I guess I can't. I guess I can't speak to it too, too in depth anymore because like it's, I'm kind of not quite sure where I stand, but mm -hmm. I've made, you know, marketing material and, uh, video editing and production, my living for the past like two years. So, yeah. you know, a lot of it's just being confident enough in your ideas and yeah. vision and skills to like go into a lot of it is like marketing yourself. I'll be honest with you. Cause like a lot of the shit that I know how to do, like a bunch of other people, also know how to do You're right like, i don't want to say it's not hard because it is but like it's not like rocket surgery you know what yeah. i mean um but like it's just being confident enough to go into a room of like people and explaining to them how you know what to do and why you're a good person to do it is yeah. kind of the the biggest hurdle i find it my biggest issue is that i more enjoy more than anything, I enjoy the reactions of my friends. Like if I, you know, my Halo mm -hmm. videos, I don't know if you've seen any of my videos, but in like my Halo videos, uh, you know, if my friends say a funny thing and they'll watch the video and I'll edit it in a certain way that they'll laugh. Like that is the most satisfying part to me. I don't give a fuck. Making people laugh is like my life goal. Yeah. Which is why I'm excited yeah. to be doing stuff like this is because yeah. like, yeah, I'm, I'm passionate about making things look cool too. But if yeah. I'm not making people laugh, I'm not like me. Yeah. So. And I, I just want to say, I side to side from you to it two hours and 16 minutes ago to now is going to be pretty funny to look at because it's going to be like very bright you know very bright white lights and now you you're just in completely the, in the dark yeah you've watched the sunset yeah. from outside my window yeah. taking away all of my natural yeah. light into my laptop providing me some light because my real light fucking sh literally yeah. fucking shocked me into <laughs> now that that's dead now too and i'm actually just in the in the fucking i'm i'm osama bin laden in it right now <laughs> in my room point. um yeah. There's one that's God telling me we're wrapping it up. Yeah, soon. there was one thing I, I had. A, I had something and I was going to a point with the whole video editing thing. And I don't remember where I was going. I was going to say, I'm going to learn. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm self-taught in Vegas and I've squeezed every ounce of Vegas I can get out of it. I'm like self-taught and everything. 30, right. That's kind of where I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I, as I'm, I mean, I, as I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I, I, as am I, um, everything that I do. Um, but like I've squeezed, I squeezed every ounce of Vegas that I can, the, all the third party plugins and all this shit. Um, I do want to learn premiere. I mean, I know a very basic level of premiere and I do want to learn after effects, which I know nothing about. And I, your video is going to be one of the one, first ones I watch when I actually get around to, to starting to learn after, after I mean, effects. Let me know if, and see if I can jump into like a fucking discord call or something too, because like my thing on after, I don't want to say, I, I, I talk a lot about like problem solving in that yeah. video. Like I'm trying to do this specific thing and like, I'm explaining in detail why the thing yeah. isn't working like yeah. it should. So, um, my actual point though, and I want it, and I, and I this will be promised. The last thing we, we, we say, I promise. Cause I know you're trying to hit the sleeper. You're trying to, trying to go, you're going to trying to go CPs right now. Um, I really go to sleep, but I'm probably going to make some food and fucking um, like get out of the darkness for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah make yeah. some food as yeah. the kids say <laughs> these days. Um, and I know you were a little iffy. We had a conversation after last podcast where it was like, you know, well, the, the Jesus Christ, the, uh, that, cause your teeth are so white that like actually scared me from like the, yeah. From like the corner of my eye. That was actually That's terrifying. Yeah. Right there. Um, Oh, I wanted to do something like Ben hates New York or something like that. Like, or New York is the worst place on the planet to get the clicks. Oh, yeah. But who the fuck knows? I, I will. We'll see. No, what the I, episode title is Galalaba Hubbabaloo. Yeah, Galalaba Hubbabaloo, which is fantastic for <laughs> right. SEO. Right. The algorithm loves it. <laughs> you were saying? Um, well, we had talked and we were talking about like, you know, it's iffy talking about, you know, our old, our old YouTube channels, because obviously they're not up sure. to the standard of like social. Uh, uh, Some of them were not, great. I mean, obviously, they're like FWSX is not completely deleted for a reason. Yeah. I mean, like, there's still some very good content on there. And that's some stuff I'm definitely like, that's horrible. Yeah. I would never stand by them. And so. that brings me to a, the, my question Is there a video of yours? And I, th I think I've seen most of your videos. And I got to say, I really like the last video you did on Subexiled, the Ethan's oh, review of Fallout 76. I watched, oh yeah well I, that was also it was posted to that as a way to get views too but that was mainly for his personal channel but I, yeah i watched that video uh i think two days after we did the last podcast holds up mm -hmm. holds up the poopy poopy stinky game Made only for babies and poop. I think well, there's some I think it's great stuff that holds up. And again, if you check out Ethan's channel, which hasn't done anything in a while, too, there were other reviews of stuff that we both did together. Um, so with that said, though, is there a video 2016 or before that what is the, that you are most proud of on, on any channel that you worked on? Let me go to FWSX really quick. It's not my personal I, I already know. I watch. I rewatch my videos all the time. I, I, I don't know if that's narcissistic or I just like laughing at myself. But no, I watch not. my videos I, all the time. I do that. Okay, well, I will say this. Well, it didn't come out in... When when did this come out? Well, it didn't come out 2016 or before. This Optimal Disappointments series you see was written... Like, it was one of the first things we used to write. We used to get, like, cracked up by it. Those videos don't, like, you know... They weren't made in the best because it took so long to make. But, like... We were writing that not for a Halo Machinima, but to like actually pitch as a TV show mm. like a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And those we have some scripts that no one's seen of that show that fucking kill me to this day. Um, this Arby's the movie video. Very good. Shit. Um, the sp uh, Brutally Honest Abe. Very good. Peanut butter and jelly, that's the worst combination since the Kansas-Nebraska Act. Uh, you know, I'm on FWSX. FWSX. Sub -exiled. I don't, I I don't can't. think about sub -exiled I, that much anymore. I get those two mixed up all the time. I, in my brain, I, I, I get them completely mixed up. I get them swapped. Yeah. Um, Brutally Honest Abe is honestly one of the first ever like animation things I've ever done. Um, Dude, the and, fucking and it holds POV, up. It's a very good thing. The POV Go banana shit, I laughed my ass off at that the first time I saw it. I just thought that was so dumb. Oh yeah, well, that's not 2016 or before, but that POV banana yeah. video is is I I, I do yeah. like that. Actually, 
not to call anyone out again, I got to maintain relationships with these people still. But like, even though they let me go, when I was interviewing for my last job, uh, by the CEO of that company was reviewing my website mm. and he clicked, I watched him in real time, click on the, vi- the video POV or banana. And his comment was very professional. And I don't know if that was ironic or not, because that is definitely not. I mean, like, yeah. I guess it's like a well-made animation. A sure. But like, that's a good point. Was that ironic or not? I have no clue. That's I have no point. clue because he has a sense of humor to him. Sure. But also it's a really professionally well done animation, but also it's a monkey eating you. Like yeah. I, it's also not professional yeah. at the same time either. Yeah. So I still to this day question what he meant by he's just looking at my website, clicks on POV or banana and goes, not oh, very professional. And I'm <laughs> like, is it? I, I don't fight. What? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. There are a few videos on Cagdu specifically that I can remember that I'm like, oh, that was actually pretty good. I mean, like we had a we had the series uh, Cagdu Shorts, and we had Rocco Daco, which was a rock documentary where I would just pick up rocks and I would just mm. explain like some made up history of the rock, and it would it would always just lead I to like vaguely remember that yeah. yeah it would just lead to some like Nickelodeon cartoon or something stupid like that rock documentary. It, it, this, this rock is from Rocco's Modern Life or some, something dumb. Um, yeah. I think that video, I, I watched that video and I'm like, that I'm so dumb. That's so funny. That's so stupid. You ever watch a video and you're like, I used to be funny. What happened? I, I get that all the time. I think there used to be this this free flow of thought that I used to have that was very funny as a kid that I still have that, like, you know, brain that thinks all that stuff is funny and is creative in the same way still. But the, like I used to be able to just sit down and go, I'm going to write a script for something. And then yeah. I would just, the thoughts would yeah. come out and I would just write it. Yeah. And I just don't have that in me anymore. Yeah. Even though I still come up with very good jokes. I just, yeah. it doesn't come it, to me as freely it, it doesn't hit as an same, adult. Yeah. 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 That. All right. Well, I just thought that was a, it was a good little, well, I think I'm going to kill myself. Uh, yeah, have that, a good night. That might uh, be the, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, a Sean situation where you just go, Bidoo. um, but, uh, all right. I mean, Good talk. <clears throat> how do we? How do we end up? Po- Actually, last thing. How did we end it? Oh, you just said belly, and then I, I I cut it because I thought that was funny. What is like a? If you want to get my it? belly, you can subscribe to Wilson Apple Ooh, Podcast. Hold on, or, hold on, hold on. Uh, Dude, wait. Okay, Spotify. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize you. I'm gonna maximize you so we get full quality, right? Okay. Right, and now put the put the put the phone on your face like you did with the creepy face. And now now say it again. If you want to get in my belly, you can subscribe to us on YouTube or on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. And if you listen to Google Podcasts, I mean, maybe that'll happen at some point, but you can go fuck yourself, honestly, for now. Yeah, um, honestly, Apple Podcasts is trash. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, m- maybe in the future, there'll be more things. I've talked about more things, but for now, that's where you can find us. So if you don't subs- if you don't. If you don't do any of those, then you'll die. And if you do do them, you can get in my belly. So can you now can you slowly say the alphabet twice? A. B. This is a little. (laughs) B. (laughs) 